media he moment. covers your story, your story will be covered from the ground up. It's always a good time here at the Jason Lee Show, but it's even better when your friends uh, link up. And I invited one that everybody knows I'm cool with because she hosted the grand opening or the grand, what, what was it? The, the finale. Launch. What was it? It was the launch. It was the grand opening when we got there and it was the grand finale when I left off the daily on. My girl Remy <laughs> and my boy Hitman Holler from Wild and I was in the building. Oh, What's up, everybody? Uh, you know, Remy, so the, the launch party. Hitman, you didn't come. I feel like you was in town, you didn't pull up for it. <laughs> I feel bad. Remy, how would you describe the party? In how many words? <laughs> One. Insane. Yeah, because you don't come like, outside. Everybody was surprised that you popped out. Because you know I don't come outside. <laughs> I, I, be, I be outside, but I don't come outside. Mm. I don't do the partying. I don't like, you know, it's just it's just not something that I like to do. I don't like too many people. So when you call me, you're like, yo, you got to come. I'm like, Jason, you know, like he, you invite me at least five times a year to a party of yeah, some but sort. Yeah, you don't go nowhere. But I, I do, and then it's always in LA, it's a whole big thing. <laughs> and I was, this time I was like, all right, I'm gonna come. And when I looked up the flights, I just couldn't make it. I was actually, we was just shooting um, in Philly, trying to get my old ex access behind the scenes, but on easy. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, I can't make it, I, I can't get a flight. So I'm trying to get all these flights. I lost my ID, I had to call and get the name changed because I only had my maiden ID with a different name on it. And he's like, you know what? What if I get you a jet? I'm like, I don't know. I might come get me a jet or whatever. Just like and a woman. He, he called, now he called me literally like 15 minutes like, okay, the jet's booked. What else? Yeah. Now what? Like, there's yeah. no reason. There's no excuse. And I was sitting, I was so tired. I was like, I got to go and pack my bags. And when I came, when I tell you, there was there was women. I saw the story on the on the ceiling. Like the there were planes coming down from the ceiling, the and we People even put zebra forming. print um, on the planes. I don't know if you know that to match our zebra print. No, no, no. I, I was going to the bathroom and I got stopped by people walking past me with a coffin. Okay, so I was wait, so wait, wait, let me tell you. Chick fil A was there, her, no. I heard they just. <laughs> well, the thing about, okay, so first of all. No, but why was there a coffin? Let's talk about the coffin. Okay, so different people sponsor different tables. So the people who sponsored. Was sponsor it sponsored by a funeral home? No, they just killed it. They just killed the bar. So oh, I so guess they. Rest were, in peace. You know, the crazy part is me and Remy are going to the mic to go up on the stage to get on the mic and the, the, literally a coffin goes in front of us. I didn't even know there was a coffin no, there. No, it wasn't just that the coffin went coffin past us. Right. Listen to me. It opens. And there was a person, <laughs> there was a person, person in, in there with bottles like, <laughs> yeah. why are you in the coffin? Yeah, I was just like, they're doing no, a lot. No, let me stop like, yo, a coffin just walked by. I, I, <laughs> I was, just, I was like, that I've never seen before, but it's not a they, prop. It was a real coffin. Like it took with a real person. They inside. killed it. They killed it. They, they killed, killed it. it. But look, shout no, out to that bartender. Yeah, yeah. Because but, but the crazy. I'm not in there. She was in there like this. The thing part. She was like <laughs> out the coffin. You that's, thought I was crazy. dead. <laughs> Wait, That's crazy. I, so, so I shook my head at the coffin and then when we walked by and they opened it up and she had the bottles like that, I was like, this is just, oh, y'all doing too much at this point. It's a lie. No, but hey, you know what I would say about the flight it. and, you know, I called Remy back and get, the, let me tell you what the whole jet thing came. So last year when we did the Hollywood Unlock Impact Awards and I was trying to get, you know, somebody here to have a big moment, I was on the phone and I called Madonna because we have the same birthday. We have been hanging yeah, out. because I could just call Madonna. I wanted Madonna. She like flex. She like flex. I wanted Madonna. So I called, you know, so I don't need somebody big. I called Madonna. Well, so I, I picked know. the name up that dropped. But no, nah, <laughs> you know, I wanted Madonna and I was trying to figure it out, but she couldn't get here because she had rehearsal. So, I'm, so, I, so I'll get you a jet. And it, and she was impressed by that. So I was like, okay, but she still didn't come. Then I, then I, I called Mariah Carey. And then Mariah Carey ended up coming. Nana Mariah. You see these M names? I don't know. But I ended up having to make it all happen. I had to get well, a jet. You call next Jordan? <laughs> huh? Like, I mean, we on the roll of Michael, big yeah, Mike, nah, like, yeah, keep it, yeah, nah, Mike. but you know, I mean, I just, you know, <laughs> like Flex, pick that name up too. But I, I realized that if people really f with you, if you can help make it happen, they'll show up for you. And that's the thing I will say, you always show up for me. It wasn't just this event because the launch party, the reason why I knew I had to call you was when I said I was going to do the show, you were the first one to call and say, let me know when you post it so I can promote it and help you out. And I didn't tell you, and you still did it anyway. And I was like, yo, we got to have Remy here. 
And so, yeah. Well, that's what friends do. Yeah. Like, like, not all I, of them. Like, no, I j- then they're not really your friends. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have to tell your friends to to promote you. Like when you told me what you were doing and that you were getting your own talk show. One, I was genuinely happy for you. When yeah. your friends are genuinely happy for you, the one thing they want to do, they want to tell everybody. Mm-hmm. They want it to succeed. They want it to be successful. So if I can. You know, put this on my platform to the people that watch Remy Ma. Hey, go check out Jason. They do what I do and they want to be in tune with what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. I'm watching Jason. This is my friend. So when you told me about it, yes, congratulations. And when you get your press and when you get whatever needs to be released, send it to mm-hmm. me so that I can post it as well. And it's not because I want anything from you or because I want to be paid. I didn't even tell you I was going to post mm-hmm. it. I found it. I seen what it was. I got the information. I put it on it and I tagged it and that's it. I didn't know that he was going to be like, well, since you tagged me, you post me, you might as well come and host the party. Well, I was since, like, <laughs> since you're helping me out, why just fly in? But it's, that's what yeah. people do. So when you say, you know, not always and not all the time, those people are not your friends. Like I see, I see a lot of times like, well, I was this and I was busy. You never to you you make time for things that you want to make time mm-hmm. for. There's sometimes where you possibly know there's no way things can happen, but when you really want to do something, you move things around and you and you take sacrifices and you do things so that it can happen. So, but have either of you had an experience where you thought these people were your friend and privately they are your friend, but then publicly they don't show up for you? And if so, who? You. He don't know. He's thinking about it. He no, don't he know. The bus. He know. Well, I'll throw one out there. I love walling out. Me and Hitman Holly, you know, we don't walling out. <laughs> Wait, I ain't been invited up? to one tour date. That's I'm crazy. funny than a mother. That's I mean, crazy. they don't have nobody on that tour gay but Rip Michaels. So <laughs> he ain't really gay. <laughs> We're gay. <laughs> Man, I don't know if he's gay, but gayish. I ain't I, control all that. You I know, know that ain't you. Listen, off, you Rip know. controls ass. I've, I've had instances where people who they they say that they're my friends and or actually my family, and when it comes time for something for me, they. It's never a support thing. It's always like, yo, could you get me tickets or could you bring me here where I have to do things to help them come. If I don't lay everything out, yeah. like down to their car, their this, their that, like that's that's not support. Like, especially if you're not doing anything. Mm-hmm. You're not doing anything anyway. I had to learn the hard way in this entertainment business because that's my problem. I go so hard for people. If somebody that I'm making my business, I I, I ain't no flights. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy my own stuff, make sure I'm never on moon. And I got some. It's just like excuse after excuse, or you don't see them post a fly, you don't see them do this, but they pull up to other people's stuff. You just be like, yo, but you see them, it's hit man, you this, you that, I love you, I love you, but you don't show the same love publicly. I'm cool on that. So that's why I only be wanting to say I, I was finna say names, but it's just like I'll be we, good. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, we love a good name over what? here. What? <laughs> Put it here. What? What? Yeah, this is that's a dap. It's a five. Oh, yeah, that's no, a, we love that. When you agree with somebody, no, you, no, you, we you love go that. like this. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I thought you wanted some money. I was in my wallet and I got you. Anything well, okay. Fuck no, you. Okay. Since you, that's what you thought. Hold on. I pulled up with a little bit of ice last night because I knew you were gonna come and you that came in here. That's what you do. Look at him. Very light. Look at him. That is not very light, bro. This is light. There is somebody somewhere very hungry with little, very much no money. They That's don't need this. They need food. <laughs> they don't need this. This That's is ice. different. But um, I feel like. But why do we protect them? That's the question I want to understand. Because I why do we not? I'm gonna tell you why. Because the love is one way. It's one way. There's some people that I I love and I got love for, and they just don't feel like that about me. And it's not because I'm. It's something wrong with me. Yeah. I love. If I f- with you, I f- with you. That's mm-hmm. it. Like there's no way around it. Even if we fall out. I, I still, if I had love for you, I may not like your ass no more, but if I ever genuinely loved you, that love is going to still be there. Not if they betrayed you. It's, it's certain shit. It, it hurts. I, I can't really say I wasn't going to say no names, but you me. ain't got love for Raleigh. Listen, it hurts when people do you dirty, mm-hmm. but I feel like if I ever loved you, there's always going to be some love there. Like, I wouldn't want to see something crazy. Like, now, if I if we was enemies from the beginning and there was never nothing, like, you, your dog, your grandmother, everybody like, not, everybody, I and I won't care. I'll <laughs> yeah. come over there to put a cake by day. Like, I don't care. Like, I'll do that. But, Remy, but if Riley, I had love for you, you have love for Riley. Listen to me. If I've ever had love for anybody, that's just how I am. I don't f- with you, I don't like you. I will never ever be there for you again, but I just feel like 
it's impossible if it's anybody, that's just how I look at it. If you ever genuinely love somebody, regardless of what they do, you may not like them no more, but there's going to be memories that you have with that person that you feel a way about. And it's f***ed up and it hurts because you're like, damn, that was my And you're like the most evil Zodiac sign out the Gemini. What? Gemini. That's why we be going so crazy because I, I'm giving you all this. Yeah. I'm giving you all this. That's what you want to do? But, now, you gotta give them all now that. it's up. That's <laughs> so, up so are, are you, because you're literally, you just, in my mind as you were talking, I'm like, she's she's literally the Michelle Obama hip hop. You know, when they go low, we go high. Oh, I did not say that. Well, I, 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 su I support that. another famous I, I icon, Miss that. Funky Dineva, who said, when they go low, we go to hell. Yeah, down there, you go there, you're not going to say, door like, hello, let me talk to you. But... Like I said, this is good. we have to talk about two different things because there's people that I grew up with that I have crazy memories with them, like that I can't ever replace because it was part of my childhood that I grew up. And then they did fail to me, or they wasn't there for me when I went away for that long period of time. And I know if I'm ever in a jam, I can't depend on them because mm -hmm. they're not going to be there for me. Do I hate them? No. Do I with them absolutely not mm -hmm. but there is somewhere buried in there there's still like a little piece of like when i tell certain stories yeah. when i tell certain stories i'd be like yo i mean one time me and this person da, 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 da. it's not like you know i i don't i don't harbor that because i used to be like that to the point where i used to want to find people i'm staking out like that takes up time and energy like I will i'm look. still there you you have to stop. No, no, cause see, you look, I told you, I told these people. I told you off camera, and I've been open about therapy that I'm in therapy, but I'm also very intentional about what I want to work on in therapy. There's mm -hmm. some stuff that I don't want to change. Like I like the fact that the right people like you all who know me mm -hmm. are cool with me, and the people who want to take advantage of me or don't, or they they want some weird, shit, they are afraid of me. So that, like, it, some about me keeps those people away. So now I'm a, I'm a play devil's advocate. Let me tell you about. A situation where people are afraid of you because I've been through that. Mm -hmm. When people are afraid of you, they're gonna handle you differently. They're gonna go above and beyond. If somebody think if you dealing with somebody and you think they not really like that, I right, we might have a fair fight. We're gonna have a one on. Mm -hmm. If people think they know everything about you, she gonna do this, she gonna be like this, she gonna bring this person, all these people, they're gonna come at you so differently than they would a normal person. And it's very dangerous at times when people think they know you or they think what you're gonna do, because sometimes you could just be on some chill. And now you are in harm's way because he's looking at you like you ready to bomb shit. So yeah. I tell people also, too, when you do get caught, when you are ready to bomb, you're going to automatically be guilty because people know that's what you do. <laughs> so you got to be like, no, I would never do nothing like that. You crazy. That is, mm -hmm. I'm not even on it like that ever. But that's acting. This is why you need to get into it. No, but that's actor. different. I've okay. been acting lately. No, you know I that? know. I know. Okay. No, but I'm see, great at it. But look, look, I act every day. I act like I like my. Okay, but why? I why? Act like but I why? Why do you, do you feel like you need to protect those people? Like by not dropping the name, by not saying who they are. I don't are. really protect them. It's protecting me. Mm -hmm. I can't let people put me in a position for me to go above and beyond. Like if I say something, they say something. Now nah, I'm gonna take it there. Now nah, I'm just in it for no reason. Cause I'm from St. Louis. I, it's, I I didn't grow up to just learn. Like man, if I ain't about murder, killing, or something important, leave it alone. So if they don't like me or they don't want to do like that, I just need to stay away from them people. If I punch them in their mouth and now what? I'm back yeah, in Hollywood out of life, locked up yeah, and now it's this. I don't like paying people. That shit <laughs> me it don't, it, don't, it, get, it, it don't get you nowhere. I'm telling you that. <laughs> when you get sued. That is so annoying. <laughs> yeah. I'm so Oh, like, damn, when I got to that level, it was definitely it's, over. Yeah. Like, you been sued? I, a lot of people been trying to like... I've Couple been sued several times. <laughs> For real? I so, paid off the side. Like, listen, all right, fine, 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 fine. Don't call the cops. Call the cops. What, what do you want? Just tell me the number. Because everybody has yeah. a number. Really? What? That's what all is about now. If you read the comments, it's like, oh, I'll go get the bag, sis. Go get the coins. Yeah, or you better sue him. You better yeah, that. So I, I can't even have a fair fight me. without somebody trying but you, to. But see, now you ain't doing it. But your security laid somebody out at my party last night. What? What? Huh? <laughs> Who's Wait, am I snitching? Yeah. Oh, no, but my, but, my but you know, but you know, but you, but you know why I was laughing at well, it? Man. Because I thought it was because the last at Cardi's birthday party, my security laid somebody out, and I thought my security knocked somebody out. So I was looking for mine, and mine weren't there. But yeah, so so right next to the coffin was another deadish body. <laughs> Damn, but they were setting it up. They had the coffin. Allegedly, up. allegedly. I did not. I don't know who that man was with. <laughs> he was not with me. Some I people were doing a lot last me. night.
My but how do you? But how do you protect yourself? I mean, ultimately now you, people, you people can't. People like can sue when, for when anything. you are when you are a public figure, people feel like you don't have a voice. You don't have. Feelings. There are no boundaries. You can't yeah, say anything. Old, yeah. They can yeah. say whatever they want to you. They can do whatever they want to you. And if you do, and if you retaliate, if you say anything, oh, we're gonna go viral, or I'm gonna sue you. I'm, and these are the things that I have learned over time. And out of all the things that I have learned, I don't like paying people when I beat they. Like, cause I don't just beat nobody for no reason. You did something. I don't just go around smacking people, Which blacking ain't people smacking eyes. Nobody now. Like, she be one. You see all these cameras? Absolutely not. <laughs> that's Absolutely you gotta not. be the bigger person. That's the thing, though. That's what I'm saying. I don't saying. know you, how to be the bigger person. No, I'm that's like, what I'm, you got. I don't but that's what you got. That's why I don't go outside. I was just about people, to say that's why. why. I don't even see you outside. Is that why? This is why I don't go out to parties because people, people. I know people. That literally will look at you and be like, oh, I know if I do something, so and so, they not going for it. That's a check. And they're willing to take that equipment for the check. The only thing is some that you really don't recover from. So, <laughs> right. and I know how I am. I don't like people on me. I don't like people breathing on me. Don't bump me. Don't touch me. Don't look at me crazy. Don't say nothing crazy. Everybody tough. Like, That's what I'm saying. Everybody, everybody tough, though. Like, tough because then you walk, when, everybody, everybody you looking at. This, and it's just too you, much now. As soon as you do something to somebody, the same people Lost that be like, oh, that couldn't have been me. You read the comments, they be like, <laughs> sue her. I'm telling you. Sit in the jail. Sit yeah, her back. Yeah. So basically, they all turn into gunner. I don't know the details of that. I, I've I never met. Understand. I've never met Gunna. I know he has a great fashion, man. but now is Gunna a snitch? Because I'm trying to get to the bottom. I don't know where I'm from. You don't call somebody a snitch unless you see the paperwork in black and white. You okay. can't just call people. But, a snitch. but there was an audio recording where he... I need to see the paperwork in black and white. You never got to see it because when you put that jacket on, somebody's no recovering from that. But you you can't corroborate at all, and that's what people are saying because you can't sit down and corroborate at all. Okay, but so that's why people. We all get indicted, but some we of know us, you telling. You remember we had this conversation. Oh no, me, before. I'm telling. Oh, oh no, like, yeah, but, yeah, but I, I'm gay <laughs> and I'm not telling. in the streets. Yes, <laughs> gay people like, tell. But, but I have a I have an issue with that because a lot of people are like, oh, they're a civilian, they this, they that. Yeah, if you're a civilian, don't hang around with <laughs> that's like that. Don't be like, oh, well, nah, I was just there no, on the no, side. No. The no, person no, no. you hanging around don't need to be around you if they know you. A combination you, they like that. of the two because a lot okay, of times let's, people let's be fronting, acting like it is what it is. And then when the people get called, they be like, uh uh, it wasn't me. like, but you if did. I'm so riding with my homie and I know he's not in the streets or I know whatever the case may be, I know him, something happened. I don't expect him to do nothing out the ordinary. I know that. So I'm not even going to put myself in that position. But if I'm with somebody who's supposed to be that, we fight or we shoot, something happened. We gotta hold it down together. But what about the gang that let that that let six nine hang around when he wasn't a, he wasn't from where we but all that, were but from? But that's for money. That's for money. The game is cha- is mixy now. It ain't back in yeah, the day where I was from. We knew who the people on the block were, and we knew who was not. Now you can, I guess, maybe for social media or for money, you can. It's for money. That's what I'm and saying. No, it's, it's, you no can buy the block. Penalties neither. Like there were penalties. Like if somebody was. A snitch or a rat or something like they like you knew what it was. It was not even up for you. It was up for your whole family. So even your family wasn't even dealing with you. Like now nah, we don't deal with him because they didn't want the consequences of something that might happen to you. Now it's just like, but now the big oh, dogs you didn't know? are like, he's a snitch. Yeah, he's a well, snitch. But it's cool here. Pull up. Like that's, there ain't that's, no consequence. Who gonna stop doing it? But that's why that's why it's not safe to be mixy. That's why you're but not mixy. That, I, I'm, I'm not mixy because I don't like people. Right. I, mean, I just I don't like be people. By like chill. if I like you, like there's something like all my friends normally become friends with my other friends because you know if you made it to be my friend, I you screamed cool. your right. ass. Well, I you thoroughly cool. screamed. You, you are cool. safe to be friends with them. There's nothing to check cool. out. They good, whatever. But I feel like a lot of times what happens besides people pulling the I'm a civilian card. You have to understand the world that we live in. We live in a very different world. It's not like, you know, where people this first of all, there's cameras everywhere. Everybody Social is Social media too. Everybody is a Stop walking signs, no, everybody's a walking report, a reporter. <laughs> yeah, like at yeah, any yeah. given time, somebody could pull something out and and you don't know when you're on video, you don't know when people are recording you. Right, right. And I feel like everybody right now is trying to get that clout to have that moment so they get the it's tag violent, on the blog, so they get recognized for biggest Biggest uh-uh. drug ever is fame and clout. Yeah. It's like you said, people is willing to almost die just to get it for that moment. But that goes Every back moment. to like, how do you know who's real around you? Like nowadays, you, you really don't even know. You don't. I promise you, no one 
killers have went to prison, came home. Yeah, I did it. Like we seen it all happening, but they 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 admit to it. And some of the things that I see them doing on social media, I just be so confused. Like, why? What 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 part of the ex con murderer is this? Like they yeah, they, no, they be yeah. doing a I'm lot no of real things. Real shooters that, that argue on. Mm-hmm. Like you be like, I, like it's really like. What you, part of the game? Yeah, is like it kind of like you say. So it's scary because you be like, I, I know for a fact he with it. Yeah. So if he doing that, ain't no telling who all. But it's just the fame. It's just the. Fame. It's all about fame. Everybody want to be that. Well, see, the, the reason why I asked you about Raleigh, and I, I want to circle back to that, is because... Stop let, let me tell, asking me about this no, let me tell lady. You, let me, no, let me I'm tell trying. You no, let me tell you why. Because I was recently out of the country, and somebody came to me and said that she had reached out and wants to piece it up with me. And I just thought about, like, yes, I'm working on being a better person, but I also am the one that put out the story that she was given, allegedly given another man head while you he was pregnant by another man. So why could, how could we piece it up? And what could we? What piece could come from that? I could never. Once there's that level of animosity, so hit me. I don't know why he's including me in this. I could never because whenever I like, why is he doing this to me? This is supposed to be my friend. You see, what I'm, I'm talking like people act like they. I guess what I'm trying to. I'm, do I'm trying to like, is there a why level of this? is there a level of peace that I haven't reached yet where I could then say, yeah, let's let's piece sometimes, it up. Sometimes, sometimes, some you just can't piece it up with some people. Some, yeah. Is irreparable. Or you just like, say peace. Like, no, you don't say nothing. Just right. like you go over there, you stay over there. Let's not ever be accidentally in the same place at the same time. Like some some people in situations is really like that. Everything doesn't have a solution. Mm-hmm. And and I think that's what people don't understand as well. People be like, Well, I'm over it, or I'm just like every everybody is different. Mm-hmm. And everybody has different levels of maturity. Like you said, like I'm still, I'm still there. Mm. I cannot be out here with my daughter at four years old at home looking for people. Right. Especially knowing when I catch them and I find them, they're going to tell. Right. Because they always say they're not going to tell, but then they tell. Or they want some money. And I that bothers me. I see, I, I, it was one particular instant <laughs> where it was settled outside of everything, the cops, everything. And I was just following this page the whole time. And I, every time Wait, I see from, this, a, from a um, Finsta or from- No, your... from my real page. I don't give a f- this up. I'm on my page. <laughs> what happened? I'm on her page. And I see her, this bitch is on vacation with her and she got a new bag. I'm like, I know that's my money. This <laughs> broke. I know that had me so tight. This bitch was fly off my bread. That had me mad because Who was she it? started with me. She, nobody. This is nobody that's famous. <laughs> okay. This oh, this is a girl? No, this is just a, yeah, but it wasn't somebody that was famous. This was somebody that's, an incident happened. Settled out of and, court. Um, took yeah, your money. It, settled, I don't even want to get to settle out of court. Don't even call them people. You know whoever calls the police first wins. And that's why I say I keep the FBI on, on speed dial. Just because once I start talking, people all of a sudden... How do you call the feds? Yeah. I know how to call the feds. How do you call the feds? Yeah, the FBI? You're a different level of uh, Excuse me. No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> I, I didn't, like, I didn't even know how to reach the feds until Karen said we'll try to like, delete my page. Uh, what? You know, once she did that, I'm like, I need the CIA, FBI. I'm at the White House now. Like, Joe, we need, Joe, Jilly, we need to talk. How do you call them? You pick up the dial 10 numbers. So I'm doing this rap battle league. <laughs> That's why me and him no, but all jo- together. All, jo- all jokes aside, <laughs> yes, we're gonna get into the the like, rap battles. What? The the rap what? I'm I, no, I am so trying, confused. No, I am trying to become a better person. It's just I'm work. I'm in therapy. You it's know a, what? I'm working. I live progress. through you because you? I want. I want to be that person still. Like I be telling really? people, like I'm changed. I'm I'm a different person. They be like, you know, I'm deep down inside. You the same, Remy. I be like, no, it's not deep down inside. It's one oh. paper cut away. I brush up against you. That- <laughs> Might come out. Wait, bag up. Really though, I don't start nothing. Mm-hmm. It's just I'm now trying to work on not having to react to everything that other people start. Because I don't have to. Like I learned, I don't have to give everybody life. The other thing I'm, I'm also realizing, because I do have a lot of different friends who are popping like y'all and the other people, is that I'm finding people will call me up like, "Can you just call Remy? Can you just call Rihanna? You know, like what? And and these are people that I thought, like, we really cool. Why would you even ask me something stupid like that? But now I don't know, did we become cool because you was trying to get to them? Oh, that's definitely um, something that's hard to decipher when you start getting fame and money. Like, he got money. Like, I just want y'all to know he got some money, okay? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Got one. Designer everything. Every time I fuck that. Every day. Every day. All day, every day. (laughs) Never wear the same. Uh, I got designer on every day because I lost a lot of weight and can buy it now. I used to go. I used to go down to the little China market down in L.A. Well, I didn't. I had my friend because I couldn't get caught down there. There's no way I was going. Stitching pieces together. No. So you know, now that I could, but now my tax attorney's like, um, 
you can afford it, but you ain't got to do it like that. We got to slow down now. Well, well, you know what Joe does, Fat Joe? He, um, he'll buy two of the same thing, and he has like an amazing, you know, tailor, tailor really? that puts it together. I, I, I was looking at Joe. We were in Vegas not too long ago, and I was looking at him on stage. I'm like, first of all, Joe is a good looking big guy. Like, he always fly. Yeah, brother fly. He brother always fly. fly. But I was looking at his fashion like, how does he find? To fit him when I could never find that. My shit always. That's how rumors start. Look, mm. that joke got the fake. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but his don't be fake. It's actually more expensive than whoever. That's what I'm saying. Got about two of them. That's what I'm saying. So somebody will see that, but they I don't make like, that they size. Any left over not knowing. Make yeah. Head bag. Not knowing he's spending more I, to get I a tailor. Love that joke. When he said Mike Tyson offered you that car to have sex with you, what did you or to what did you think? Or did, what, what did you did it take you back to a time? <laughs> Because Remy, I would have, Mike Tyson, look. What kind of car was it? Look, yeah, let's go ahead. Because Remy, know, Remy, right? Remy, I, Remy, 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 I, listen, and, and I love Papoose. I, this is hopefully was before, I love him too. Hopefully, this was before him, right? Was it before, before him? Before you asked Were the you question, with I love him too. Were you with Papoose? I was a kid. No, I was oh, a yeah, so I would have f***ing got that car. That's crazy. Mm. You know what? Or maybe you would have got, you would have bit off more than you could chew. <laughs> That's Get a it, line. you know, because he bought bit the ear off. Or whatever. <laughs> so, I like Mike Tyson. That nigga interviewed me and scared the shit out of me because he started talking about how he did ayahuasca and died, and I, he, he's still sitting there though. I'm like, you ain't dead. I'm you trying there. to figure out like how did we get here? Because when I sat down, no, because you said Fat Joe has fashions, and I go, damn, Joe said that Mike tried to hit it for a car, but but you haven't responded to that. But you was like you would have for the car like that. What kind of car was it? What kind of car was it? What kind of car was it? Listen. Double R. I, d- I just I just feel like <laughs> in 2023. <laughs> Lambo. What was why, it though? Why are we just? I'm just trying to see what was it. That's to see what like kind of. That, Cause I, they're gonna let me know like, what kind of. It just of, shows that you had integrity at a young age. Actually, it's different. Now. I feel like women get way more. That's now why I asked you what kind of like car you offer. Like it's actually a, a, a accolade for for you to set your chick out. Like, and you don't even. You don't even gotta let them hit. Like it's it, it just is what it Would is. Would you turn down a Honda? I won't know if she I turned down. I literally like, was sitting here saying that's gonna let me know I, if she I was really literally turned. sitting here saying <laughs> the Honda Accord scared Melissa Ford over years and years after the game said that in a song, and I was praying that it wasn't a Honda Accord. <laughs> So you was telling me you want to get into acting. No, no, we, yeah, I do, but I want to act like you didn't forget the question that's on the table. Um, because what? Wait, so you just said no? Like, what are you talking about? You said you was a kid. You weren't even like I wasn't, 19, I wasn't 20. a kid. Oh, I was, okay, I was, right. I was, but I wasn't like. It was just weird. It was the whole. Shit. I'm, I'm mad that that's what even came out. I was just like, like, does anybody remember how? Sh- like, this is. I was scared. Yeah. I'm scared now. Like I don't even know what to say. Like no, I he, no, he, no, he smokes so much weed now. Mike I'm not is even telling. I just don't <laughs> like it. Like I don't like it. I'm not, I don't like. But were you it. offended that somebody would even offer something like that? Because I think it's kind of like. No, I mean, no. Sex to hit it for free all the right, time. Right, that's what I'm saying. We've seen Hitman holler sex tapes for free <laughs> online. So. So I've been trying. I'm glad we we have this platform, right? <laughs> oh my god! So goodness. I've been trying to tell y'all for a minute now. Like I'm I'm doing battle rap now. I this love is what this I show. do, right? I do battle rap. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I have a card coming up February 25th where I have like two of the biggest guys that are in battle rap battling, mm-hmm. and I have Hitman there. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, I tell me I'm gonna pay you what you want. Oh, I want to pay you, but I need I need mm-hmm. something. So he's like, what you need, Bram? I got you. I'm like, I need an exclusive leak from your close <laughs> friends so I could drop it. I could leak it like three weeks before to make sure that the building is sold out. Uh-huh. Somebody tried to leak that and like hurt me. That's what's crazy. The sex tape? Yeah, somebody leaking and like try to. And they ain't know you ain't give a f- No, nah, I gave a because f- that's why I was with my close friend. Like, you know what I'm saying? We just, but they tried to like, but leak it, but it only made friends, me. But, but I don't have, I don't show Okay, put like this. Put like this, Remy. I mean, you marry, of course, now. Yes. But if you weren't married, you my friend, like how we are, right. you would be my close friend. Really? We're not Remy, sisters. You don't We're know not... what's happening on Instagram. There's also fences and close friends where they post that my friend just added me to his shit. But not he was explain. Now, I'm glad Remy night. said that. Let me explain. No, what? it's only females. Okay. I got female friends. So let's just okay. say me and, my, me and my girl, we got close females. Define party with. Go out to clubs. Not three ways, threesomes. 
He's lying. We have. I'm close, so I can see the lip quiver. No, no, what I'm like saying, that. no. Not, I have threesomes with all of them, but it might be one or two that we had fun. Of. But I'm just trying to explain y'all what a friend is. It ain't friend where high school, elementary, like her friends that she, it's friends that we met together. Okay. Just like you. If I put you but in my close friend. Friends. No, 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 I'm saying, Remy. No, no, am I? I gotta really? go home. No, wait, wait. Are you my? Are you? Are you like a sister to me? Right. No. No. You ain't no sister to me, but right. you, you ain't going. If you saw me naked, like you ain't gonna be like, oh my god. It's just be like, right. I can't explain it, but right. people like that. Are I know in there. I'm not gonna be like. That's why I asked for the leak. So I that's what I'm saying. Leak. So a lot of people just thought I had like I had my partners in there. It was like, like yeah. 15 of my friends yeah. in Cali. My, you know what I'm saying? But, that love see, us. but that goes back to what we were saying earlier. You can't trust even some of your close friends. That's what I'm saying. Because they put it out and then you ended up on Hollywood Unlock. And I got it and sent it straight to B. Simone. Because I know <laughs> B. B. Simone. <laughs> sorry, B. You, you, you single now. It don't matter. But I sent it to her because she used to always, she always, you know, she in love with Hitman. But yeah. I have to say, even though they tried to take you out by doing that, I felt like the only way to truly rectify the situation was to honor you the way that we do here at the Hollywood Unlocked Jason Lee Show production, and that is induct you into the Mandingo Hall of Fame. <laughs> now, we, we, we don't have your name on here yet, but we will put it on there. It's a, it's a real award. This award is more important than a Grammy, an Emmy, a Tony, an Oscar, because, well, Oscar Meyer. This honors what God actually the true talent, God bless you with. So on behalf of oh. uh, the Gag Nation and everybody here at the Jason Lee Show, here's your award. Here you go. You deserve this. You earned this. Did you enjoy it? How you going to pause? Oh, wait, wait, I know, I'm not saying how to pause. Like, did you enjoy what the God leaks? What are you talking about? Oh, my God. I said my leaks. I mean, did you enjoy it? I saw them. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it's the honesty for me. I saw them. Okay, but um, you do have to do an acceptance speech. Pause, just in case. Pause, because Jason Lee gave me <laughs> pause. <laughs> just in this, but to all the wonderful ladies that made this possible, appreciate it to my baby Cinnamon, the co-star. <laughs> Love you, girl. Not shout the, out to Remy. Not the co-star. Not the shout. Not the, the shout out to Remy. Right <laughs> I mean. Hey man, this is why I think they're gonna kill me for holding this right now. They no, just, they're not. They, they, they listen. Oh, uh, there you go. They hold it for me. Thank you. Go, I amp it up. Tell, 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 tell them why I earned it, Remy. No, tell them. We saw the video. <laughs> you worked this. extremely hard for that. Okay. <laughs> what you all do is that's just that's there's rappers, there's people who try to rap, and then battle rap, I feel, is like the most talented real people in the music industry because yeah. that is it's, it's different. It's different. It's difficult. Very difficult. You will. You can literally be sheathered at any moment. This is if true. If you step to the wrong, or, right? Moment. And I say, I'm, yeah, that's I talk. About my that's how I talk. Mm -hmm. um, when I got to Wildin' Out, everybody they told me people were homophobic. That's what they said. That if people are homophobic, whatever. And I, I felt like people may have been a little uncomfortable because the, the on top of the battle rap, and I feel like the humor and the art, the art form of comedy on the show is one where it's a family environment where everybody comes for people, but it's a safe space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You were one of the few people I felt that were that really embraced me when I came in. We had that first show where I did the joke that went mm -hmm. viral, whatever. Mm -hmm. Were people uncomfortable with gay, the whole uh, gay thing? Or what so was it? I, it helped me grow up because I wasn't used to just being around like somebody gay openly saying stuff to me because I come from streets of St. Louis and then battle rap. So it wasn't cool to let me allow that. You know what I'm saying? So somebody telling me, ooh, a man telling me, you sexy, I want to do this to you. I just wasn't used to it, but I knew I had to grow up because as a man, like I don't care what other men do. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't be worried about that who, yeah, it don't, it don't make, yeah, don't, like I got money to make, I'm trying to feed my family. So I had to grow up quick. So a lot of people not comfortable with their sexuality, so they still, they don't take it right. They still, man, don't say that to me. He looking at me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I I feel like you. The more you do that, the more people are like, why are you so mad? You know what I'm right. saying? So I always felt like the more I just act like it don't bother me, I'm gonna be cool. So every time Jason, Zoe, you know what I'm saying, say stuff, I just be like, Zoe doing? be a little gayer though. My <laughs> shit, my <laughs> shit more like levels to gay. Yeah, oh no, oh, 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 I can, I'm in the community, so I can say this. I'm like for real, really. Yeah, that, that's a, that's a lot. For real, because I do feel like, you know, media perpetuates this stereotype that like you got to be like wearing makeup and heels and carry bags like or be that. an accessory and all that. And I, I feel like I, you could be a whole 
boss and what you do in the bedroom is your business. But I, I do want to say like publicly, because I haven't had you guys on the show before, I really appreciate it how you and, and even DC, because I remember yeah. there was a time backstage where somebody said something really crazy to one of the cast members. I called him a faggot. And DC took them outside, and then Nick ended up removing them from the show. And this was somebody that wasn't a part of the cast. Right. That's someone was trying to be a part of the cast. Yeah. One thing, yeah, one thing, we gonna stand up for like he a cool dude. Like he was part of the cast, so we ain't gonna let nobody else out. Only we get to talk about it. Ain't nobody else gonna get right. to come here and do what they do. So yeah, I remember yeah, DC's like, "Yo, calm down, you wild." And like it was a, somebody was on the show, they got real uncomfortable. Called him that. I was upstairs. DC took him outside. Yo, get him up out of there. Shout out DC. Called him a fag on the microphone, but this is backstage. Yeah. yeah, yeah but the way the cast came, I mean, it's really good to see like men who are men, and and, and not to say that uh, you know gay men are men, but like real men who are you know mm. heterosexual, heterosexual men, so but to protect their uh, the other people who because they're like a family. Do you know what it is? I think we all grew up in a in an era and in a way to where certain things just wasn't the way they are now, like mm -hmm. ex extremely different. Mm -hmm. And and it's uh, something that you have to learn over time, like because you just couldn't say, like I'm from New York where you say pause and no homo to yeah. everything. Yeah, everything. Like to everything, <laughs> even as a girl, I'm a girl. Like, 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 <laughs> but because, like, 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 or like you'll say something but like, But then when yo, I say it, y'all look at me crazy. You be like, hey, yo, yeah, like yo. yeah, because you be a little, a little <laughs> bit like, like but that's forward. how we grew up. <laughs> And then when you become an adult and, and you start meeting other people, you start traveling, you be like, hold up. A, a lot of things is like that, though. Not just with sexuality. Yeah. Even with what we were talking about earlier about snitching and keeping it real in the streets. A lot of things that we were taught growing up in the hood is is f***ed up. Yeah. And, and it f***ed yeah. us up. For real. Where you're not supposed to say this and you're not supposed to do this and you should do this. And that's really not the way the world works. And when you become, when you remove yourself and you make it out of that environment and you are a business person and you are uh, a parent or you're not a parent yet. Not yet. But, um, you know, when you have these things, you start thinking like, damn, I don't want my, my kid to, to be like that. I don't like if so, I tell my daughter the time, if something happens, somebody do something, you come and tell me. Tell me. I'm not, I don't want to hear that. Like, they, like, you know, the kids play, they're like, oh, you a snitch. You tell them, don't tell her that. Mm -hmm. Come tell me, tell your father, because this is how you, I don't want her to be raised like that. Mm -hmm. I don't want her to have this street mentality that's mm -hmm. really, that's, Ignorant and, and and when I say ignorant, because a lot of people use the word ignorant and they don't know what ignorant means, just not having the knowledge, no, 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 knowledge of something. Or something. Yeah. And and we grew up very, very ignorant because I feel like our parents didn't know. And it's something that's acquired, that's taught and it's learned, and you grow up like that. And with the way the world is now, we're having to as adults unlearn a lot of behavior. Mm -hmm. So we talked about Wild and Out um, and your your battle rapper. There's other battle rappers, Conceited Clips. Um, am I mm -hmm. missing anybody else? Conceited Clips? Uh, um, Justine. Oh, just on the show. Oh, Justine. Everybody's Justine. up there. Justine, right? they, well, she, well, Justine ain't never well, did a never rap did. battle. I be trying to get her. Oh, so she's not a battle rapper? No, she no. just do it on the she's show. A, she's good. I think she's, she'd be good, though. Who's the best battle rapper on um, Wild and Out? Me. Better than Clips? Yeah, I'm better than Clips and Car. I, I told Clips you. good, like yeah, they I all good. Like, just say everybody a, like ten. I'm a ten point five. Oh, okay. <laughs> everybody to, is to good kind in of their Clips own, defense, like they all, right. yeah. You know, I'm a king of performance. Clips, they, they say he the best all around. Kind with the punchline, so it's all different. Mm -hmm. for, you know what I'm saying? But in the I'm scheme just, of things, when we're, when we're talking about battle <laughs> rappers and accolades as mentioned, and and we talk about it from. Where he started to where we are now, like he he's there, like he he's so there. So we talked about sheet there, not to talk about how the, we did? the no wait I mean I brought it up that? no I brought it up but not to talk about oh. who was level two just the song in general like was was crazy, um, it was it that crazy because you're a battle rapper or because you just because you just lyrics or um. just you know how to like because battle rappers when y'all go at each other yes it, the art of like how you kill each other is so crazy. I personally think it was because she's about she's she know how to break down her opponent. Mm -hmm. See, some people can rap good, but if you know how to rap good, that don't really mean you can break down your mm -hmm. opponent. You can just rap good. Mm -hmm. Well, you can rap good and break down your opponent. That's what battle rap is. So, Ether and Sheetha and all that stuff when you 
oh my God, they breaking it down and out. That's what makes it a step better than the regular rap. It's just a rap song. Yeah, it's like, I feel like Jay Z. Is he a rap? He's not a battle rapper. But he, he he came. He they say he battled DMX on the like he, he come, got battles. He comes from those sites. Then it's the mecca. It's New York. Like any right, all the rappers right. from New York. That's the mecca of battle rap. Right. So they kind of the cheat code because they did that every day up there. So battle rappers do they write the raps or do they or is it freestyle or is it both? both? Oh, it's a combination. Both, that, yeah. That's what makes it dope because you write, but then anything can happen at the spur of the moment. And like you gotta she be able, me, I'm writing right now yeah. as we speak. I'm writing. You gotta, but when I get there that day, if he got on some or some happened an hour before, like it's my job to. So while and out, the wild style is like the commercial version of battle rap because y'all don't, they don't go as hard. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. That's the, That's like the right. hardest Easy. part of the damn show for everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I be I getting them in all the games, and yeah. then when it comes wild style, be like this is where they gonna tear my. I be in the back. That's what I always do. I'm like, yeah, Jay. All right, say what you. With DC on like the um, pause, not not like that. I used to <laughs> with DC on the jokes yeah. pause. until yeah, he got pause. me. He yeah. got pause. Oh, he that, was, that, was that was a good pause. Right? That was a good place. Yes. I, I know when possible things need to be paused. <laughs> yeah, yeah. no, nah, DC pause. Like, <laughs> family, DC. I actually have a lot of respect for do, but um, I I was getting him in the games. He got me up there on the wild style and tore. I mean, he what? And 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 it made me rethink my strategy because he got and Conceda got me one time too. I'm like, damn. Uh, they started coming from I'm going to tell you where they get y'all at. Yeah. When they be like, cut the beat. I'm like, no, don't let them stop the beat. <laughs> That's what Like, you might have a chance when you're because you got to stay a little bit in the confinements. Yeah. When there's no beat and you control the cadence of what you're saying. That's when it could be more. That, that could, that's when they get, yeah, you get a little bit more freaky okay. with, with, with your I'm going to tell you lyrics. why I cut the beat. I can't rap. So the beat be throwing me off. I'm like, why they pick this beat? <laughs> I be hearing the uptick and the this and this. And I'm like, hold on. Then I look. There was one I had drank so much Hennessy backstage that when I got out there, I just I had all the confidence as a battle rapper. I grabbed the mic, hold on, give me, and I just, just couldn't think. Of, and I just handed <laughs> the mic to Nick. He was like, "Man, get the, get some <laughs> down." So, and they cut it out though. So let me tell you what what um what happens with battle rap, and 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 the reason why I started and created Chrome Twenty Three is because I felt like there was a void. Like you see how right now, women in hip hop like they run. Like it's, it's so many different females and and they're at high levels. Like it's so for so many years it was one, two. That's what I was gonna say. I'm tired of female rap and, and male rap because now I feel like it's just rap. Yeah. Because because women, men, I feel like yes, it's a fair it's, playing it's, it's field. A fair, it's fair now, but it's still very very uneven in battle Pay rap. and all the other Pay, stuff. Pay exposure, everything. So when I was trying to put together like my next event, I'm like I need something big. And when it comes to battle rap, it don't. <laughs> I mean, it don't get big than big? Man. I mean, I mean, big like like big name. Hold big on, views, listen, listen. I, I haven't even had a full drink, but I'm catching a Hush lot up. of. <laughs> um, <laughs> be quiet, okay? Be Wait, quiet. you're still married? Yes. Papoose, the going on in this show do not reflect it's off of camera. Yes, yeah, all... what I did, I did something. You just handed him his eggplant. Like, like, cause be quiet. Right, like, like take Before, your word like, and like, She said she needed something like, big and she picked me. I just want to know why she picked me. Listen, pop, like, no. It, no, I picked, be, you, whoa, you and Pat, hold up. You, I didn't even catch that one. <laughs> that is not why I picked her. Hold up. That's the fire your hair. It went Wait, like you the battle rapper. You supposed to catch him. Pause. Yeah, I'm like, why are you so picking like, you? Yeah, cause he has a big, you know. <laughs> No, but I do love. Man, I know you and Pap are like the epitome of black. Yes, but but he's like, he's yeah. like that too. Yeah. Like he's he's like he's cut from that battle rap cloth as well. For sure. And um, it's it's so it's so entertaining. And I want. Women, I didn't even know that until you sent me that deck for the event that you were having that there was a whole female battle rap community. What? And they're know. amazing. No, no, I didn't even no, know. No, they're though. amazing. Because the clips though. I see online. Be a bunch of dudes in a dark, smoky room screaming at each other and cutting nah, each other see, up. Chrome Twenty Three is different. They hair done, makeup did, outfits, and and they really do it. Like they they're sure. up there. Like it's they're just as the good women. as the guys. Sure. Like see, I ain't, I ain't we ain't get there yet. But after this one, we gonna we gonna bring Hitman back and we gonna get him with with, with a with female. female. See how have you ever battled a female before? Smoke two females at the same time. That was me. That was on I your close that. friends list on Instagram. I did that. We yeah, saw they made that. Yeah, we, we saw you, you smoke two females at the same time. You saw that. <laughs> saw that. You saw that. Smoked Elite. Them, smoked Remember? Them real well. Yeah, smoked them real well. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't take the car from Mike Tyson? No. I Damn, didn't. Remy, why? I mean, no. I just, I, I mean, that's why we love you. Because you respect yourself. Because now they're doing it for, no, for like, 
Chick fil A on a Sunday. Not Chick fil A. Ubers. Did you see I had Chick fil A on a Sunday at the party? Yeah. I said I heard you had Chick fil A. Wait, you know, but you know what the gag was? It wasn't just that it was Chick fil A on a Sunday, it was because I was gay and they don't like the gays, and I did it on a Sunday. So we with Jesus and the gay community. And Chick Fil A like with the sauce. Takes petty to a whole <laughs> other level. Like somebody, you really thought this through. Somebody handed me the thing and said, "You really got Chick Fil A?" I'm like, "Yeah. How'd you do that?" I said, "You know, I called up God, told him some homos needed some fucking Chick Fil A." I want to make a disclaimer real quick. <laughs> Anything that happened in this whole interview <laughs> does not reflect the views of Remy Ma and what she stands for. Like, I was Add not- me into that. Or Hitman. No, you got to make your own disclaimer. Yeah. Or the battle rap community. I don't know. You might you might be jacking it. I don't know. Like, y'all guys, y'all go back to well and out. <laughs> Cardi was here on the show and I forgot, there was a question I forgot to ask her. My Why gosh. she make you as her- um, Twitter profile, your face is still up there. Then I thought about why she did it. Because mm-hmm. she was into with an old girl mm-hmm. and then you was into with the other old girl and it was just the most pettiest. Y'all are all just petty. Isn't that petty? And the fact that, I didn't even do nothing. And the fact I that, didn't even tell wait, her. I would have picked wait, you the, got, you the You caught a stray for no reason. Like you at home chilling with your kids. Oh, I like, ain't catch a stray. Hold up. Be clear now. I ain't catching nothing. I was like this. I was at home like this. Do you be looking at your Waiting. <laughs> like this. It was my good... notifications on. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. that was a good picture. Oh, it, it was a good picture. I think that was from the. Um, old, it was like a anniversary of um, the Forty Forty Club when mm-hmm. I had went out. But I, I, I have people. You know what I mean? People ask me all the time, or they'll hit me like I have people literally like it's, it's like a petition. Like yo, we need your picture off our page. I'm like, one, I don't care. At all, period. Too. Well, like, people were saying, they were saying that. I promise you, like you need to get your picture removed off of that. Like this is this is um, impersonation. <laughs> They're like trying to write to the people that own Twitter, really? saying that she's impersonating me. But I, I <laughs> with Cardi. Yeah, like, I don't for, think people for, know for that years. y'all are really cool though. I mean, I know because we, like, we, we were we were in a group like, chat once. We were we, in a that group chat. chat is silent. You gotta get that group check back. Huh? She's from the Bronx. So she from she from where she from? I knew she was from New York, but I ain't know what part. So she was Bronx. BX, oh, okay, man, the big Bronx. BX. I lived in the Bronx and I lived in Queens. So do you, you or do you claim Bronx though? Yeah. Okay. Because y'all but, are different. Y'all y'all are like BX. the thing about Bronx people. Like y'all are like the sexiest, sensual, killer, serial killer people. Okay. <laughs> For real. I don't see anything wrong with that. Like I, I'm just see saying, it was like, normal. Okay. Right? And then y'all invented the chopped cheese. I saw that recently on Drink. Chopped cheese is so good. It's overrated. It's chopped no, cheese. you gotta go. To go the right when you one. go to Philly, go to Max. Max is it Max's or Max's? I, I was just recently there. And you like the, school, the chopped chop, cheese? Chop, chop chopped cheese is like a cheese. It's a, like a, a cheeseburger, but it's no. Not I was anything. gonna say it's like a like a poor cheeseburger. It is not poor. Don't say that. You're I know poor. New Yorkers gonna kill. Let's get, let's let's get, get a me. few coins. That's a poor <laughs> cheeseburger. What a it's somebody it's like, somewhere that wants that somewhere like you said to me. It's somebody somewhere that would like a poor. It's like cheese hamburger burger. helper on a on a bread. Some uh, bread. You don't like chopped cheese? Are you serious? I mean, I I, I ain't gonna lie. I looked at it. I couldn't even eat it because it was just it didn't really look appealing. You done gone. But I do like the bodegas in New York, you. though. I do like the bodegas. Yeah. Bodega. You, what, you, what you get out the bodega? Grilled cheeses. Grilled cheese. Yeah. No one goes to the bodega for a grilled cheese. Yeah, yes, they do. I do. Turkey, turkey and cheese. I walked a all the way egg to- egg and cheese with salt, pepper, ketchup. Like When I lived in New York, <laughs> in New York. Um, where you know where I lived, I used to walk right patty down there. with cheese and cocoa bread and turkey. But why are people- No, what? I used to live in New York. You did? Where you Seven years. Call it now. Oh. Nah, that's fine. That's BX. I just wanted to say that. I just <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just lie like that with a straight face? Where's your girlfriend? Watch him with a straight face. Like, I didn't even, like, that's crazy. Listen, when I lived in New York, when I lived in New York, Remy was moving. And I was trying to get her to move in my building. Mm -hmm. Because if Remy was, because everybody lived in that building. Bobby Smurda lived in that building. Uh, uh, Dream Doll lived in that building. I I wanted Remy, because if you'd have been in the building, I would have literally been child. So let me tell you what happened. I was this close to moving in the building. He's like, yeah, I'm moving here. Come move in my building. I was like, all right, because it it was a dope building. He showed me. And he started naming all the people that live in this building. I was like, she was like, all nah. Right. She was like, hell nah. <laughs> Definitely not moving in your <laughs> hell, building. Like, she was like, <laughs> hell nah. Are you she, crazy? She was over. But it, I, I never said this publicly, but I love the building. But what I, the only thing I didn't like, because it was really secure, like you can really get to floors unless you live on the floor. But the security, if you were a famous person, they went above and beyond to be helpful. Mm-hmm. So they was letting people in people's apartments. They let Dream Doll's boyfriend in her apartment. He stole all her bags and all her jewelry. <laughs> and she was hot. And she was pissed. See, remember that remember that that old me that I was telling you that's like right a uh, paper cut away? What's that paper cut right there? What? Yeah, and 
I think he went like let her use the phone, and it was like a crazy situation. They let they let it, they open her door and let him. That's in. a lawsuit, so, though, right? No, yeah, no, but so first she of said all, she figured it out. They like she she no, ran down on First of her. all, it's up for the security person. Yeah. Then it's up for the whole building. Yeah. Then eventually, I'm gonna go find Duel, but. <laughs> Like the, yeah. before we even get to him, like there's so many steps of people that had gotta get smacked. Like it's, that's this is why I didn't move to your building. That's I I knew things like that was happening over there. See? So you walked in the party with that bodysuit on, and you got this bodysuit. Just the body. She been killing. Or, do you you working out? Do you work out? I have a gym in my house. Okay. Do you I go do, to it? Because I have one and I don't go. No, I have a gym and I have a sauna. I have a wet sauna okay. and a dry sauna. And I'm gonna be totally honest. It's not. I wouldn't recommend this for anybody. But when I really really need to get crazy, like. I starve. Like I, I'm not eating nothing. Like, intentionally. Intentionally. Like I don't. I. I would rather not eat than eat something. Like starve like. for how long? It only takes like a week. I call it the naked and afraid diet. You won't eat for a week. So look, I watch the show. Anybody ever watch the show? That ain't even healthy. Listen, I'm gonna tell you why. I be wrong. watching we naked. This, and, I be watching naked and afraid, right? Yeah, because I be watching. The show's to see been other. on for how many seasons? Nobody's got sued. Everybody's fine. Nobody died. They be out there in that wilderness by day seven. They be like this. <laughs> Naked in the phrase die, and do. nobody dies. As long as you got a little bit of water on a leaf, you fine. But but, but, but Remy, that's a show that's edited. We don't know if they're eating beans. We or know they in between, in yeah, between. You know, like, you know they not because they do the before and after picture. Day one, you see them like a regular day seven, day seven you see their ribs. So what are you talking about? It's like the trajectory of the Obama administration. Like he looked really young when he got there. When he was on his way out, he was just like brave. he was just stressed like, out. Like, and did but that to him. We did when that to him. I have to do a cr- when I have to do like a crunch and I need something really really fast, I believe I'm not eating for this whole week. Like and and I have enough discipline to do that. But when I'm home and I'm chilling, I have my pe- I love my Peloton. It took me a long time to figure out to this is a pause. I have Peloton to I've make it so that my ass don't be hurting because I be in your ass. like the you no matter what you do, you can put a pad on the seat. That didn't work. I had a pad on this, the pad on my shorts. That didn't work. I ended up having to put a pad of shorts, a pad of seat, and then do some whole other. Because this, it's just uncomfortable. Yeah. But once you get that part under control, like I throw it on, I put something on the screen, and I just go. So like, you like the bike? Because I got the Peloton tread, but I don't use it. The treadmill? Yeah. Like, well, with the treadmill, it's the same way. I have to distract myself. Like I gotta put something on that I'm like into, or put on like an album that I really, really like, or I make my playlist, and I just be going like mm-hmm. to where I don't even realize that I'm working out. I do things that's like not like I have a pool in my house, so I'll do I'll swim. Or there's an ice skating rink that's down the block from me. Like, I do things like that. I do not, like, I can't do the one and two and three. I cannot do that. I just, I, it's, I can't. But before you starve yourself, do you at least, like, do blood work to check your iron levels and all no. that? No. Does that? I, I do. I'm black from the Bronx. I do. Like, no. We, but that, but, but, that's because you used to be overweight, so you, like, do like that. I'm, I still do. I check everything for every four months now just to see. And that's because you out here in these streets. No, no, I'm on prep now. I'm, I'm good. I am. I ain't no STDs over here. What? I feel, he got a plan, right? No. That, yeah, no, the, I. That, what? I don't, what? Straight explain, people don't know what prep it, is. That's what, so crazy. No, that's no. Explain. Because he Prep is a pill you take to prevent getting HIV. And I wasn't on it for years. I put it on my Instagram because when I got my. Okay. My mentor, he died at AIDS at 45. Mm-hmm. I always thought growing up where I, I'm I from. I read your book, so you yeah, know, I know. Yeah, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, when, I, when I was growing up, I always thought that I would die by 25 because everybody around me was dying at, like, you know, you read my book, 19, 20, 16, whatever. So I thought I was going to die by 25. When I hit 25, then I said, well, okay, then I started thinking 45. Then when I was getting to 45, I, I started having anxiety attacks. I had literally had a mental breakdown behind the scenes. And the only person I could call was Charlemagne because... Or in Tiffany, because Charlemagne is working on his mental health, and I and I want to go into therapy. You know something wrong with you when you call Charlemagne the Godfather. I'm, I'm having a mental breakdown. Let me call Charlemagne. <laughs> no, because I I called him to ask him if he knew a therapist that I could talk to, because I felt like <clears throat> nah, he, Charlemagne. He's very I, informative. I don't see myself as a celebrity because I'm not. I'm a public figure that talks about celebrities, but I have not acknowledged that I am a public person that people know. And I have been a little lackadaisical with letting people inside, and mm-hmm. and I've been burnt. So I started like not he's feeling been like a t- lackadaisical with letting people inside, and he's been burnt. Pause that, please. Oh, that's a pause. So prep is the pill you could take, and if you go out there and you just get into the heat of things and you don't have no condom, you know, you know, you might have a couple bumps, bumpy situations. But wait, I'm done. so <laughs> I'm done. you said Doja Cat's not a rapper? Oh, what? <laughs> No, but you had said that, and I don't want to regret. I mean, you said what you said. I you, said you, what I said. You say what you said. You ain't be on backtrack. Um, 
But when I said it, I thought it was, I thought I was like giving a compliment. Like I, I didn't say it like because as, she was like a pop star. Or? No, I just felt like that she was more than a rapper because she she sings and she dances. Like I feel like certain people like they in, they fall into other categories, mm -hmm. and everybody was so offended. And then once everybody got offended, started talking. Now I'm like, now nah, I don't give. A like right. I don't care. Like that, I don't even think about it. Like I was asked a question. I was on Drink Champs, and that's what they said. So that's what happened. But um. It was really meant as a compliment, but a lot of times what happens, especially when it comes to us females, the fan bases and the people that they, they say things and they like twist things around and make it a thing, a thing. And Boy, rappers seem to be like the most territorial over their genre, though, because I feel like even like when the whole Grammy thing with Lotto and them went down on social media, it was like, do you really care where you're classified or is that more about making sure people know? Where your category is, or what? Like, I feel I like I don't it's, know. You have to um, bring the people that was involved in that and, and ask them. Okay, why are hip hop? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't think they ain't gonna come. I don't know. My Grammy, the first, the first Grammy I was nominated for would lean back um, in the rap category. We lost to the Black Eyed Peas. That's crazy. Okay, yeah. so that that's the issue. And the second time when we were in the rap um, category, um, it, we nominated twice for All the Way Up. And it went to, um, I think, Chance the Rapper for the, you don't want a problem with me. Or however so is the rap that gets acknowledged as <laughs> raps with like the tunes, the pop tunes or um, the crossover well, appeal? Well, it seems like it's changing because, you know, um, uh, Cardi has a Grammy, <laughs> Meg has a Grammy, yeah. you know, Nas finally got his Grammy. So I feel like somebody over there, but what people don't understand the way, it's a voting system. It's mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. really... Um, <clears throat> What it, what it seems to me and the way it was explained to me, because I'm once you get nominated, you're part of the committee. You can vote, but um, a lot of times what it seems like whoever is signed to the label with the most people that are on the board, that's who usually wins because mm. you're obviously going to vote for your artist. But I, I just feel Politics. like I will be very, very happy when we start making our own you know, Thank levels, you. like how we had the Source Awards yeah, and yeah. the Vibe Awards. And now we have the Hollywood Unlocked the, Impact Awards. We do? Yeah. yeah. We well, I, but, I mean, You were unavailable it, this no, year. No, but come. it wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know. You know what I mean. Like, Celebrating our art. Where people yeah. hold it to where, like, right now, like, That's even anytime, standard. yeah, anytime um, in my bio, or I mentioned before I do something, they'll be like, Grammy nominated, this and this and this and that, or Oscar award winning this person, or Tony nominated, like they put these, like that's an accolade. When it comes to, it's never a BT award winning, or Bob award, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So I feel like we need to create the floor for our for our mm. own things, and, and appreciate it, because I've seen so many times where artists, once they get to a certain level, um, where at one point, BT or being a nominated or winning that award was, was important. A big to, thing. Yeah. Important so, Soul to Train Award. Now, or a Soul now, Train Award. Now. And now they don't show up. Like, it's plenty of times I watch the Soul so Train crazy. Awards and you don't see a lot of people, but they'll go to the AMAs and they'll go to the Grammys. Or when they get snubbed like from those mainstream awards, they'll like, go online go. and create don't a whole campaign go. about yeah, not yeah. being acknowledged, but where you're being honored <laughs> and celebrated every day, you don't go. I don't understand yeah. it. But that's one of the big things I say in the world of media and where I sit too. It's like, you don't come and support black media, so you teach us the way to get your attention is just to talk about all you Because we have a relationship with every celebrity. Some just don't participate. Gotcha. When you don't participate, you don't pull up, you know, we could get your attention. Because now- with Whoa, 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 say, I don't want you to, I don't want people to take that differently. No, I'm not saying that that's our, that's our- Yeah, because you that's know at people the forefront like, oh, look, mind. he says right there. I won't say yeah. that's at the forefront yeah, of our he, mind. You I, like, he'll, he me. Yeah. It's happen he ain't gonna not do it because it's me yeah he'll call me ram <laughs> i'm just giving you a but, heads but, up but the difference such such, but the like, difference you know between you and i think even you with like your nudes leaking and everything that you do y'all own your it's like it is what it is you know you ain't trying to put spins on things or call up you know can you do this and i'm gonna do it. like you know i don't even take phone calls anymore. i least i literally just said you want to talk to me pull up to the show here i'm right here every day you can pull up and talk to me with these cameras no more private. My friends never asked me to compromise my job mm -hmm. because of our relationship. But the other people, I've started to realize, like, oh, I see like how you plan it. You know, right. like, I'm gonna get close to him, and now we cool. So yeah, he's not he gonna lay low. Yeah, he lay off for yeah. a little more. Yeah. Don't get close if that's what you come for, because he's not gonna care. <laughs> he's gonna give you a heads up. That's about it. <laughs> I do. All right. So look, <laughs> I, do. I do. I'm gonna tell. I, I, I do. do. I do. Uh, they they asked you to be the, one of the housewives of New York, and you didn't want to do it. That is not true. 
Okay. That's not true. Now that Ebony, I don't know if Ebony K. Williams is still on there anymore, mm-hmm. but would you do it? Yes, I would. What what happened was I had oh, just they would moved. not be able to handle that. I had just moved from <laughs> mm-hmm. um I wasn't staying in my apartment, I was staying in my house, which is in Jersey, and my daughter goes to school there, whatever with everything that was going on with COVID, I just felt like trapped in my building. And um we were staying at the house and I guess they, they, they said that that was the, the deciding factor. Like, oh, but she stays in Jersey. Like if they had told me, I'm like, all right, I'll stay in the crib. I'll stay in the apartment. What? What's up? It's just like I, where I choose to stay right. for most of, most of the time. But um, I don't know, maybe it could still happen. Would you do reality TV? He's no. doing reality TV right now. You're going to say, nah, you're doing reality TV right now. Wait, That's about no. this reality yeah. TV. Wait, wait, wait. About- yeah, no, I'm talking about like. Love and hip hop and oh, stuff. You know, I'm, like, I'm gonna send you a clip of his show. They fight in, they sleep with each other. Show, that's they my do. show. Oh, so, oh, that's so what they do. Oh wait, wait. So what's the show? So what's the show called? I got a TV show called Bags and Bodies. It's a battle rap show. Sixteen battle rappers in one house and win and win a hundred thousand dollars. Oh yeah, that's reality yeah. TV. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that, but I'm not in it though. I'm I in just, it because I'm. He's in. I just seen a clip today. He you had to go get somebody's a, chain back. They had a fight. He had to go get the, the kid chain back and give it back. But he no, no, about, what he's thinking is being in it means in the fighting and all that. Yeah, that's being stuff. in the show. I'm the like I'm just. So I see you in your socks sliding around trying to break, break a fight up. I yeah, I'm breaking up because I'm the. But I'm not in it. Yeah. They fought. They like me coming to Charlton. Them, hey, this the I'm challenge, it, and they start fighting. This is the moment it. where you realize you're in denial. Would you do reality? I mean, you already had a close friends, and your show might be kind of lit. Like if you was to actually do it, like with with you, like because you know, sex sells, um, fighting, fighting sells, violence sells, and your and your community with the music is already built. Right. And Zeus, Zeus Network is here. <laughs> I got my own <laughs> network. Wait, do we my own wait, network. Wait, so you can go, wait, you but can do we say, wait, why is Coast it? Green, where is it when we thought about violence, we both <laughs> turned to <laughs> Zoom? Yeah, I said the same crazy time. Crazy over there. I got a new one. I ain't gonna lie. My girl put me on. That's another one. They so late. Oh. Wait, aren't you looking for for women for your new show? Yeah. Uh, this so is, now this I'm would be a great. This would be a great place to tell them who you're looking for. This is what I'm looking for. Listen to this. I'm finna, I'm finna, <laughs> Listen to this. Listen women to this. reality TV. You can cook. If you athletic, if you young, fun, and you know what I'm saying? Nobody, Feisty. Nobody in LA. <laughs> if, if you nah, so I'm having a, so the What's thing that? is I'm gonna put I'm gonna put twelve beautiful queens That's in the a, house. Do they have to be an OnlyFans too? Nah, nah. Oh, there's an age limit. What's the age limit? Minimum 21, so you go to the club. 21 to what? 21. It's just whatever. Oh, it wasn't a, it wasn't a cap at the <laughs> end? It wasn't a cap? <laughs> 21 to 28. Oh. Uh, no, nah, nah. no. You know what kind of chicks he's looking let me for. Tell, now let me tell y'all why, though. Because. They ready. They're like older women just be chilling. Which is perfectly fine. What is older women? No, I'm 29. Older, no, 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 That's what I'm saying. Older women chilling they ain't for the nonsense. They don't want to be bothered by people. Like, that's just facts. Younger people who just in college and up, they want to go out to the club and just do more stuff. That's what I'm saying. Older women, you get, I ain't doing that. I ain't, I don't want to do that. You know I'm what I'm saying? I don't understand. Like they be frightened. They really want to be out there. But I'm saying, they but don't they act like they don't want to do that? Yeah, they be frightened. Because they did it already. Yeah. They already did it. You can't tell no 30-year-old they finna go out club every it's, night. It's, cra- it's crazy. When we be at the club with Floyd, he be like, yo, I was in the club with her mama. I know, like, he been in the club since Pretty Boy yeah, Floyd day. Right. So he's yeah. playing he in the club mama. and the kids. I was like, damn, that's why he don't like going out. Because we he been doing it for years. I just got money. And to I go changed out. the age limit, right? Yeah. And I had, we got like a thousand audition tapes. And no, and it's all 22 through 20. It's, they ain't even, that's why I so, changed So where do these women, how do they, how do they audition for this? Coach Terrain TV, or oh, Hitman Holler, well, they, they says, my page gone, my IG gone, so. What, they took your page? We, we can't get that I why they back. did that. Yeah, get that back from Yeah, me. after they took my page, I built a partnership with Facebook and Instagram. We can get that page right. back, right away. Yeah, my, please get my page. So yeah, they, let me holler. So right now, well, it's Hitman Holler, uh, DM me or whatever you. I'm gonna have you uh, the link in my bio. Send your audition tapes. I just want to see some personality, some good. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The winner gonna get ten thousand. Whoever can do the most, you know, it's sort of like that real world. Remember the real world? They was doing challenges yeah. and look fun, trying to look cute. You know what I'm Would saying? Would you sleep with any of them? <laughs> you trying? I get killed. Like oh, sorry. I'm. 
that wasn't a, that wasn't a quick no. So like, yeah. why men think that if they answer the question like that, they not they try to get me in trouble? I got some homies. The answer, the right answer was no. no they didn't say no. no. It's up. Like why do they think that? Why do y'all think that? I didn't think I had to say no. That was automatic. You had no. To say no. No, it wasn't automatically no. You was like. Uh, you gonna get me killed? Uh, I was like, that wasn't no. Like, why do y'all do that? Like, so you are so answer, dumb. Oh my god, you ain't, you ain't seen me. Oh, what I've been doing the whole time? I'm saying no, no, I'm saying no, no. Like, take notes. <laughs> so Nick Cannon Women. got like 13 kids now. What you? I That's mean, it. Like, like he just had like 13 like or so 12. Much more. When he started having all these kids, because he was sleeping with all those wild and out girls for so long, and none of them were getting you pregnant. Train? I know you said you. Don't I don't know. think he slept with a wild and out girl. The twins had his name, face tattooed on them. Maybe because they liked them as a mogul. But you, I, I mean, I like them. And, and my first joke on Wild and Out was asking, well, you remember my first joke? Yeah, I remember. I, I'm saying, of, I, don't, I don't I ain't got no proof of he slept with him. I just know he got four you. baby mamas and 12 kids. Oh, that so bad. they all from, from. See what I'm saying? Not just so, so relaxed. That's still a lot. But it's only it, it's, it's, four baby mamas. A lot of people think crazy. it's 12 baby mamas. <laughs> 12. Well, four baby mothers is crazy. The population got. Three baby mamas, four baby mamas. So like somebody with a hundred of them for me? Yeah. Uh, I said eighty percent. I'm within that twenty then. You know That's what's so crazy? That's not if not if you crazy. take not if you take the LGBT community in the equation and divide it into what the whole world is, because we don't have a lot of we don't have those issues. Divorce and all I mean it's new to us. We didn't have those rights. Baby mamas. Yeah. No, I know a lot of people in the LGBT that had really? baby mamas. Mm. When I was like, yeah. Well, when Nick was with Mariah, that was his ex wife. Then he made all the baby mamas. Right? But they what? have three sets of twins too, so that's six. Is it three sets? But they say he was tired as hell on Christmas, zigzagging across the world trying to get to all these kids. <laughs> Santa, he you real know, like I, Santa. But I don't even <laughs> like kids like that. Like I love my kid. Like it takes a lot for me to like a kid. Like you gotta be cute. You gotta be like smart. You gotta have something about you. Like kids, like the average kids, they be dirty. They be want to touch stuff. I like seeing cute be, kids on Instagram, but do not bring questions. them to my house. And you don't love, bring you them here. You would love my daughter. Like she's she's trained though. Like she, I would she love wouldn't your touch daughter because stuff. I love you. But I do not to me. love people's I pro- to me. kids. I promise you, my my daughter. Like people, they don't even call for me anymore. They come to visit me to see her. Like really? she's not like a regular kid. Like she's super. She's very smart. She's articulate, and I feel like. That's because that's how I raised her. I didn't want her to be just like, what's that? Can I have some? Yeah. I don't like what being a kid I entails. Kids. I love little dogs. Being a like, kid entails. So you don't let people bring their kids over to your house for like holidays? No. What? No, don't come to my house so with kids. So if I come over, crazy? I can't. My house, if you want your, if your kid is doing something, they be like, you want to go to Remy house? You want to go to Titi Remy house? My son's that's, 16. My house though. is a punishment. My son's 16. Oh, I'm, well, he's, he could come. I'm working him. Yeah. yeah. I, I pay by the room. Yeah, He's like room clean. Like, I don't Hilarious. have nothing to do. But I'm talking about little kids. Like, my, my cousins and them, they threaten their kids with coming to my house because they know I don't play that. We're not doing that. Don't ask me nothing. Don't touch nothing. Mean don't auntie. don't do. It's not even that I'm a mean auntie because they call me. I get all the best presents, but play with them at I home. Give you don't come over here. You mean I would have gave you nothing? What do you mean? You mean I'm not? Mama, mean. I don't want to go to my mean auntie house. Yeah, nah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, they sorry, don't want to come over because they know they can't do whatever they want. You can't run through here like it's no running through the house. I'm not like one toy. Like my daughter has a lot of toys. They know the rules. One, one toy, toy at a that's time. It, that's when it. you're done with that one, you put it back. Oh, y'all know how to act. You go in that room. You go in that room. Like I separate the whole thing. Like I don't play with them. I don't play with kids. So nobody else in your family could spank your kids. Are you dumb? Like what? No. Absolutely not. But we but it takes a village to raise a child. No, the f you don't. <laughs> I don't even know what a village is. I never lived in a village. <laughs> I live in towns, neighbors. I never lived in no mother village. Don't hit my kid. I barely hit my kid. Mm. So like, how you said you get on other people's kids going? So oh, I f somebody else's kid up. So though. they go. <laughs> <laughs> I so don't hit my kid though. See, that's the difference. I tell people all the time. People are like, oh, you say this and this and this, but when I say something, just because you let me talk to you crazy and handle you crazy. That don't mean I'm gonna let you do it to me. This right. is like, no, it doesn't work like that. You're who you are. You tolerate what you tolerate. I am who I am. I tolerate what I tolerate. That's and right. I don't tolerate that. So don't try to do to me what I do to you, because it's not gonna work. I knew the other question I forgot to ask Card. I wanna ask you, um, being a mom, did you ever suffer postpartum depression? Because you know what? I'm talking to more women who are being more open about their journey with postpartum that I didn't even understand that postpartum could last days, weeks, months, and even years. So I, I just didn't know. I think 
I don't think it was diagnosed, but I do recognize that there was something going on. Like I breastfed my daughter. My daughter is four. She just turned four like two weeks ago. I breastfed my daughter since she was almost three years old. Mm. Is, that, is, that, is that long? I mean. What? What's anything the, what's, but. What's, I, mean, I don't, I don't I, know. Look at it, but have you been I in a relationship for three years? I was in foster care. I put it like this. What's the longest relationship you've been in recently? Right. 24 hours? Exactly. So What's imagine, the average imagine, age when they're supposed to stop, though? Um, like, well, they say, there's really no average, they, but they say the doctor recommend the doctor recommends like at least going a year. Oh, uh, yeah. And that's yeah, what that's I was saying. I was like, years. I'm going to do a year. And I ended up going, she was almost three. And this, a lot of it had to do with, it was COVID, we was inside, whatever the case may be. Oh, but yeah. that shit takes a lot on you. Like, it's a lot. And it's, it's just... It was an experience that I loved that I had with her, but getting her off of it and stopping, it was just, and then your boobs, like, it's, it's just a Wait, lot. Wait, how long do y'all produce milk? Some, me, my was still going. If I would have still gone, I believe it would have still been coming out. Some people, yeah. it's harder for them, but my was just like a whole <laughs> milk dairy aisle. It was cool. Like. Left. Not 2%. <laughs> <laughs> well, know. wait, so postpartum, is it, is it, when they say postpartum depression, how do you know your, that? Your, I don't know. Your hormones be f***ed up. Like, your hormones be all over the place. So you, you, you be having different emotions and things that you go through. And um, I think with us, I meaning like people of color, there's so many things that we assign to other races. Oh, black people don't go through that. They don't have bipolar. Mm. They don't have mental health issues. They don't do postpartum. All of these different things that... We've been going through for years, and because we were not diagnosed, and because we were in denial that these things happened to us and in our community, that's why a lot of us was child abuse. That's why a lot of us was dealing with that we didn't really that we thought was normal. Like I thought it was normal that if I said something, my mother said to get my whoop. That was mm -hmm. that's not normal. Mm -hmm. That's not <laughs> normal. Like, and we we became accustomed to it. But I think as a people, we're starting to. Go to the doctor more. Think of all the people. Like, have you ever heard of anybody growing up? Like, their parents were bipolar. Or their parents were suffering from mental health. Like, you had see to, my like, mom. With my you know my book. I I just I just did crazy. Yeah, like that's you how know? it was just, just, just they crazy. Just, cra control. crazy. just like mm -hmm. knew that it was going from day to night day to instantly. Night. Mm -hmm. Had we had these. Diagnosis and there was medications like people yeah. might have had different childhoods. Different childhoods. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. You know what's so crazy? They be out here talking about when, when uh, women versus men in hip hop. When you got the gunners and six nines getting out while all their homies locked up, and you and Kim went to prison. They locked us up. Y'all the real G's. Nah, that was whack. I ain't like that. I was talking to God many nights. Like, like really, eight, eight. <laughs> I, I promise you. Like, I, I just. What I don't like about the judicial system, like, it's just mad random. Like, they really could just be like, we're not like, yeah, they're facing five to 25. That is a big range for somebody to just play around in. I mean, have options. You have options. Like, five to 25? Like, what? So you could just be like, uh, 18. No, you can, no, no. Uh, seven. No, no, like, no, no, that's a big no, difference. No, let me tell you how, you how you can make sure that that's not a problem. You go and say, being a part of the YSL gang. <laughs> I mean, it, it clearly worked for some people anyway. Um, That's crazy. You should have did that book, Parenting from Prison. Because I told you to do that book last time I interviewed you. And I, when I thought, when I was talking to you and I was hearing about your story with your son, whose name is Jason, mm -hmm. and my mom, when I was a foster, I mean, it's like, I don't think people think about what women are going through raising their kids when they're going, you know, and raising their kids from, you know, mm -hmm. having ch life challenging, restricting situations. Yours just being prison. You yeah. still didn't write that book. Parents in prison. You know what what it is with me? I don't like. I don't like talking about that. Shit. I don't like. Like I literally had to sit down when they was like, and I told my publisher, I was like, I don't want to talk about it no more. Like it was depressing me mm -hmm. because it's something that like it's not that I want to forget it, but I don't want to relive that shit every day neither. Like I'm mm -hmm. in a different space in my life. Like and that was also one of the wackiest times of my life. That is horrible. All right, we're gonna play these games real quick, okay? And these games, I just have to tell you. <laughs> Sorry. We went out last night, guys. Well, technically, this will be later, so it won't be last night. We, we, I'm pretty sure whatever day it is, you went out last night. I went out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure whenever this is, you went out right last now, night. Right now, technically, you know. 
So we tell everybody here now with the show that this is the room where the cappuccino is being sipped because we spill all the tea in our other studio. But these games are definitely tea too. We have a game called Name Drop. I'm gonna drop a celebrity's name and you're gonna have to say the first thing that comes to mind. It could be funny, it could be messy, it could be shady, it could be whatever. It could be your favorite person or somebody that you don't like. I don't know, I didn't do this. I don't take no responsibility for whatever pops up on the screen. Okay, the first one is for Hitman. Brandy. Beautiful black queen. Okay. You know, this hashtag protect black women, is it a real thing? Because everybody be talking about the black queens, but I feel like when Meg and that whole Tory thing went down, nobody was really standing up for her. I mean, the thing with that is nobody knew the truth. Mm. I don't so think nobody gotta, still knows the truth. I, they don't, but I'm saying it's hard. You can't tell somebody to protect somebody when they, just because one if she was like, But we knew she knows. got shot. Yeah, I'm just saying for the people, like, I stay out of people's business if I don't know what's going on. If I don't know if it's true or not, I stay out of the way. I hate Remy so much. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> you don't think Meg got shot? I don't know. I wasn't there. I'm not in the space to talk about anybody getting shot. Well, you don't know because you, you weren't no, there, right? No, because she ain't seen the paperwork. <laughs> the black and white? You ain't seen black and white? You see the black and white? I wasn't there. But, but I also feel like um, when you when you... When, when people have come from you and they've left emojis under your Instagram or this or that or like attack you online, right? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like people come to the aid or No, um, especially if you brown like me, the f no. I get all type of crazy emojis. Well, I used to, you can't say shit on my page. You don't agree with me, you get blocked. I don't <laughs> a f I ain't asked for your opinion, I don't care. Like, that's just, that's just that, but I feel like- You think it works for black women or black men? Um, Who get it though? I think Damn. women. Think women. I think because women, we have both. We're we're black and we're women. We we have to fight a little bit harder. Like as a man, you're gonna get a certain respect because you're a man. Not a black. Yeah, but so imagine if they treat a black man like that. Imagine how they treat a black woman. Like women are uh, naturally in the the totem pole. We're under men, unfortunately. But so when you add the black to it, it's like a double on top. Mm -hmm. Just my opinion. Like I seen the way sometimes people talk to me and sometimes the way people talk to my husband. They still feel a little disdain to him because he's a black man, but mm -hmm. when it's a woman, they feel like they can get away mm -hmm. with it a little yeah. bit more. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. No, I'm just playing. But like I feel like when it comes to public cases, um, the media convicts people and the media determines what what a, what a verdict is. Yeah, sure. And um, from coming from somebody who was on trial before and who's like, everything is never 100% on each side. So each side is gonna bend it so that it, it goes to whatever caters to them. So I just feel like a lot of times when it comes, especially with celebrities, Everybody pick with go with who's their favorite. You know yeah. what they what Whatever they the feel is. Yeah. is what it is. I I if you ever notice, I never post about anybody's cases. I never post about um, people that pass away. Like if it, if I post something about somebody that passed or something like that, like if, I think the only one I probably ever did was DMX, and that was like because I really really like felt that and I knew him personally. But there are people that I personally know, like even in my family, I don't post certain. I feel like that's not for social media. Mm -hmm. I just, I just feel like it should be like they, if they paid, if they made people pay for social media, pay for every comment you left, and pay for every mm -hmm. page. Like it would be. Please a don't lot give different. Elon. Please do not give. <laughs> Make them pay to write a f comment. You want to talk? Hey. No. Mm -hmm. If they pay, if they let us pay for anything, can you let us pay to reach our whole audience that we earn. Like that's the part that I don't understand. Well, yeah, like they took that away. I mean, if I could pay nine ninety nine to reach every single follower. I mean, yeah. the subscription alone, they make billions. That of would be great, but also yeah. if, if people they lose had all the to, advertising. But also, if people had to pay to leave comments and stuff, it, you would see way less hate comments. You know what type of hater you got to be to pay to say something about? <laughs> like I would pay though. I would pay. No, too. I'm not. I, no, would you? I would have a whole <laughs> account dedicated to that. <laughs> Refill my comments account, please. Just throw the cash app card on that. What you talk about. All right, look, this is for Remy, Chris Brown, and I know you love Chris. Chris Brown, I would have to say like. He's the realest. Like, he gets a, a lot of flack in the media and people like try to hold certain time, but he's one of those people, like, and I know Chris since we was both really young. He's one of those people that no matter how big he's gotten and his and how huge of a celebrity he is, he's remained the same. Like he will stop in the middle, he'll see me, Bram, show me love, like I invite you over. Like, is he's just one of those people that 
haven't they haven't let the fame get to them and change who they are. Recently, when the AMAs played in Chris's face, and that was crazy. I want to see that performance so bad with him with him and um, Sierra yeah. doing the mic check. That'd be like Michael kinda, Jackson stuff, right? Yeah. Crazy. Kind of, but but whose Crazy. fault is it though? Because I feel like a lot of celebrities they 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 look for mainstream validation. But this is where and somebody they get mad when they play to come, like this. Like we need we need some somebody's supposed to come. Like nah, okay. And it was a tribute to Mike. Nah, we gonna make a whole happen Janet should have made and, the phone and make call. it cra- Not even make a phone call to them. We're gonna do our stuff. own. Sh- yeah. did, they- We're gonna do our own Mike tribute. Yeah, but I I have an award show. I mean, yeah, it, this year was easier to get people because we've evolved so much. But you know how hard it is to get black folks to support black. Sh- at this point, what is it going to take? Wait, let, can we just be very clear? That's, That's why I said, who's the problem? Because black people don't like supporting black unless white people going to be there to show it. <sighs> like, we, like, come on, BET Awards, I used to want to fight to get into the BET Awards. I mean, that was you, you knew Beyonce was going to come. Now Beyonce will send you a video. You will get a video. Janet. But she don't even do interviews because also people, people be acting crazy. So where you be like, you know what? My sanity, my, asking san- my sanity is 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 more important than me being at this event, and people stay away because they don't want to have to deal with that. I know how you feel about this next person, so I'm going to ask Hitman. Look him. I'm a big hip hop fan, you know. So when I think of hip hop in the '90s, I think of Kim. You know what I'm saying? Like, I actually think she was the first. Of her, I can't. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think she was the first of her kind. Let me think for the about style it. of rap that we see yeah, like the, a lot just, now, she's like the, the blueprint. Like the, the um, her I cover art, legs open, dick. like legs they had open. The lips her content. Shit. Have you ever heard a song with two? But short? you could end up with a bump. Yeah. Have you ever too heard a song with two short? No, Can't. no, I didn't. Her song I can only called imagine. "Call Me." Mm-hmm. She was the first one to really. What Tr- Trina came out after that, right? Yeah, Trina. Yeah, so Kim was the first one to make it open legs out, rapping like she Talking was the about first city. Dick and all, yeah. Yeah, she, she really could rap too. I don't know, but like she really could rap too. She was the first of her kind. I don't think she get enough credit. I don't know. I could be talking. I don't think she get enough credit about really starting the, that mm. that way. He, 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 what he's trying to say, she's an icon. icon. She is. Icon. Yeah, I, I would say that. But icon. I feel like there. All of the women, this whole queen of hip hop thing is stupid because all women that are in the game at the level you're at, that she's at, that mm-hmm. Cardi's at, that Nikki's, that all, all of you are queens. And I really feel like these fan bases now be the people who are driving this, uh, to this some extent. division between be, women. I, I tell people all the time, I don't know none. I haven't met a rapper yet that started with bread, that had money. Like mm-hmm. everybody from the bottom, everybody, like everybody got money. Everybody got money. Why they don't ever throw the brat in the conversation? Because I love her too. Brat was like the first woman to ever went platinum. Yeah, first yeah, ever. Like the brat was. The... She got money. She do got money. <laughs> that whole era, Kim the brat. You put Foxy up there? Oh, she yeah. ain't done though. <laughs> you don't like Foxy? Is she really deaf? Because somebody told me the other day she was going deaf or went deaf. Or I, I'll be out the loop. You no, know, it's funny when somebody has a friend and they know who you. <laughs> they know who you don't. They uh. know you and then he's saying, oh, he just tries. I was like, I, I, I was just for the name that era, so that's my bad. <laughs> it, it doesn't even matter to me, like, I, I really don't give a like, Bronx people are so why are y'all like that? Like, what? Because why are you playing with real? <laughs> I just had a whole conversation about that. Uh, show me the paperwork, all right? <laughs> that I'm a real <laughs> Google it, though. No, I'm just leaving oh. that alone. No, but I did love what you said about Kim and how, like, you guys had some weird beef back in the day and then like it went on for so long and you wish it hadn't went on so long now y'all talking the relationship like i wish Yo, i could be in that three when way. i tell I'm you i'm gonna start that chat no when i tell you like i really real life love her yeah oh who you say like kim, kim. no I, oh, kim. I really yeah. like real life love her like yeah. sometimes this is the crazy shit. sometimes you'll have a problem with somebody i cannot tell you well if somebody said i give you 10 billion right now if you could tell me what the issue like you don't even just starts yeah and everybody goes their way nobody really knows what the source but she's one of those instances it's happened to me a couple of times in my life where you sit down with somebody that you thought you had a problem with and then you realize how cool y'all are mm-hmm. and i'm like damn like yo, if this was my bitch, like how I her now back then like it'd have been so, so different, different right. and a lot of times that be other people that see it and be like, nah, we gotta keep that away. To mm-hmm. drive it, to we, make we, it something. We, got, we, gotta, we gotta keep that away from each other. And and I I hate that for us. I, I'd say to Cardi, I wanna see a ladies' night. Who of this generation of women in rap would a ladies' night? That generation or this generation? This right now. Um, 
But but it can include all women of rap period. Like I, I mean, this there's, there's so many to pick from now. Right. There's so many to pick from. And I and I think a lot of times the reason why it hasn't happened yet, because a lot of the girls have been working together now. Mm-hmm. You see it all the time. The reason, excuse me, that it hasn't happened, it'd be politics. It'd be the behind the scene, like, oh no, she's gonna take your shine, or oh no, you don't need to be really? like like what? I'm gonna call it. It should be Cardi, Meg, Remy, Kim, Nikki. That would be. Kim already did. But do like you think that would be just so competitive? Like Kim like, is just so iconic. Iconic. Be dope. Yeah, all, but yeah. but that's what rap rap is about com- competition. Yes. And that's not it a bad is. thing. It's about competition. It, that that never bothered me. Like mm-hmm. I, I I felt I grew up like that, so it never. Really that five be fire though. Okay. Who, who had the best verse on that? Me. Talk that. Oh, talk. <laughs> talk. talk that. Talk. <laughs> Love right. everybody. Bro. Yeah, yeah. So, this next person for uh, Remy, Wendy Williams. <sighs> Wendy, I miss her. Mm-hmm. I miss her. I miss seeing her on television. I miss her. Um, what she's what she meant for for black women in this space. She's one of the people that I looked up to. Like I tell you all the time, I want my own talk show. Yeah. Um. She. Did she made that transition from radio to being syndicated on so like I don't think what she's accomplished people even realize mm-hmm. and either it's gonna be when she's not here anymore hopefully no time soon or um, years from now years 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 from now where people go back and be like what changed and who changed the scape the, the scape of things in daytime TV I always say she was a blueprint for people who are in podcasting people who are, that do the type of pop radio mm-hmm. stuff that we do like but she did it so huge mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and and for whatever reason it's not acknowledged as that mm-hmm. I, I don't feel like I don't feel like it's stamped as what it, it really was for how many years how many seasons what do you think about how they just erased her whole legacy I think that's show? crazy yeah. I think that's the importance of people owning themselves, yeah. knowing that you are a brand, owning your name, owning your likeness. A lot of times we come from nothing and we get a piece of paper and we just sign it because it's so much better than where we at. Mm. But we don't look at the bigger picture. We don't look at what yeah. it happens in 20 years from now. I'm still mm. running like, I was running her IG and doing like hosting. I was, I remember hosting the Wendy show and it was like, Saying Wendy was like, uh, you felt like you shouldn't say it. Right. It, and on a show that has her name, it's all her. And I, that to me, that was, I think, one of the eye openers. I was like, nah, I got to make sure that anything that's me is mine. Because mm. I would have I'd have burnt that whole studio. Could you imagine? When they called me to host the opening of, remember how I called you? Mm-hmm. I said, let me and Remy do it. Because I feel like, one, there's no chaser with both of us. Right. But I also felt like that would be just too much. But then again, I'm thinking, that's Wendy's show. Like, that's what nah, that they, show's they about. Ain't what the, we had to talk, he was like, damn, that's too much. It's like, nah. It's, they, that's I said, yeah, me and Rick, they were like, uh-uh. But could you imagine? I just want to, this is now, this is me back on you. Could you imagine the Hitman show? The J, and you not allowed to be there. That's, and they got uh, all these sense. other no, rabbits coming in. They have like, no these people filling in for you, but they yeah, can't even no talk about you. That makes sense. And yeah. my name on it, yeah. Okay. But then to, then I would be looking, hold on. How much time you can get for arson? Yeah, <laughs> That's a long year, yeah. How much is arson? Because I think she threw now. Like, man, I'd be like, damn, how much time is that? But aren't talk I could do it. I could do it. I but do aren't that. talk shows dead now? I was just uh, looking at this article in time where they were saying that the, that basically they're becoming extinct because they're all they're all pretty much the same. I don't look at anything that speaks to our culture really on daytime anymore. Mm, well, all of them are the same because they have the same people working there and they design them to be the same. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember the reason. That I loved talk show and I wanted to be a talk show host because when I grew up, like when I used to cut school, I used to cut school and be, we used to cut school, this is a funny one, we used to cut school Planned Parenthood. We used to cut, yeah. What? Because you know you're going to be there all day. Like what are you talking Wait, about? Wait, you said you used to cut school. We used to cut school and plan Parenthood, act like we thought we was pregnant or act like we thought we had something, go through oh. the whole- you said you used to cut school at Planned Parenthood. I, I almost, did. No, and they had Planned Parenthood as a school? Yes. No, it was like a, you go to the clinic where they had Planned Parenthood and you go, you act like so you, they do your blood you leave, work. So you leave school to go yes. there because they know you're going to be there yeah, all day. Yeah, you're going to be there all day. The truancy cops is not going to bother you. <laughs> you go out for a second, smoke, get something, you come back in. You chilling. You use Planned Parenthood they, Yes, they got, they got the little bas- basket of crackers, the tea, you? the cot cocoa. That's some Bronx. 
to be in there watching all the shows. Richard <laughs> <Chilling>. Baines, <laughs> Jerry Springer, Jenny Jones, Jenny Ricky, Jones Lake. Ricky Lake. I was on Ricky Lake. Like, mm-hmm. you told me you was on Ricky Lake because you're crazy. <laughs> you said um, you was on Marley, right? I no, never no. said I was on Marley. <laughs> <laughs> Marley was fired to me before he started only doing You Are the Father. You like, are the father. He used to have all the like shows. Like, if Mark, could you imagine? If Mark, maybe he used to have shows where you didn't know if it was a guy or a girl. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If he had that now, like, I'd really be stumped. Do you think they should have um, given you this, um, this show instead of Sherry? Absolutely. Oh, you yeah. thought I was going to say no? So, congratulations to Sherry, but absolutely. Yeah. I'd Why do you think they out. didn't? Because they wouldn't, be, they wouldn't be able to control you. Um, Is that it? I don't think that's it. I think, honestly, I think my... You my, never have to say honestly because everything you say is honestly what you think. In no, sometimes I'll be lying. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be lying not because because I know my honesty is going to be too much for them. So I'll be like, all right, let me scale it back a little bit. <laughs> if I say that, then I'll try to cancel me a company. Not that I give a... I don't know how I have to be canceled with crazy shit, but um, honestly, I feel like my my criminal past affects a lot of things that opportunities that people want to give me because the world is not ready to accept that. Oh, I forgot about that part. <laughs> I, I, I feel like that, like even mm-hmm. as, as articulate as I can be, as well-rounded as I am and the different topics. And I feel like when it comes to daytime TV, there's nobody that looks like, there's nobody that looks like me. Everybody's over 50 years old. Everybody's a certain type of way. Like I'd have been through some shit. I know about marriage. I know about having everybody's kids. Everybody's over like, 50. I get it. Like I understand. That pl- comes into play. There's, there's times where um Joe gets invited to do certain things and he would like both of us to come and, and I can't go. And I know that's the reason why. Mm. And it, unfortunately, you know, those are one of those things in this country that you can pay all the debts in the world and it still comes back and mm. comes back. And I feel like that played a part in it. Like there's like, oh, you know, you guys would have cost too much. I feel like you and Joe are the best cause. I agree. Yeah. I, I feel like that too. I, mm. I, I totally agree. Like Joe's um, amazing when it comes to, and and the, and the same thing with him. Like like the, nobody looks like him. Mm. Like he's a Spanish, blue eye, green or whatever color they want to be that day from the Bronx. He's super articulate or whatever. But he also symbolizes mm. something that I don't think daytime TV is ready for. But it was the Wendy Show people who actually inspired me to like go hard to get my own. Because, because they tried to you tell you that you couldn't do it. That I wasn't big enough. Yeah. And, and, and I, you were calling, and then Cardi was calling everybody, like, they ain't got you. I'll come, I'll do it. And they, I had a lot of people want to come and support. And they were like, nope. I was like, but, but I also feel like when people say no, those are the no's you need to keep pressing to get yeah. what you deserve. You know what I mean? Absolutely. But I don't think I don't think it was them. It's the people that's over them. It's always no, the people those that are the people I was talking see. to. Oh, okay. The owners mm-hmm. of the show. Yeah. Yeah. And they said they didn't want Nene. Because I feel they like. They said they didn't want Tamar. They said uh, they, they 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 didn't like a lot of you. Just so no, you know, because I feel like yeah. the um the just people on the yeah. show, like that run the show, the production, like they were amazing. They were great. Like they Wendy they, the they love us. Like I still talk to them. Like yeah. they text me randomly. We we talk, but um, that's something that she you could tell she handpicked who was yeah. where, and that's something that you do over time. You don't yeah. just get that. You know what I'm saying? Well, speaking of shows, you were on one of my favorite shows, and I don't know what happened to it. So I, this next person's for you. Joe Biden. Ah. Stay of the culture. Yes. On Stay revolt. Stay of the culture. On revolt. It was good. It was fire, right? Who ruined mm-hmm. it? Um, probably Joe. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't me. Probably Joe. Um, I got to call Joe because I feel like we're close enough for him to be honest with me about his sexuality because all these like different... like. Uh, like what? Well, because I'd be Wait, confused. I didn't even know that was coming out your mouth, and I did, I did not set this thing? up because you he said, know I he know on Drink Champs I said I wouldn't f- with him because I'm with a bad skin, but that was a joke. You just what? He got bad skin. He was that bad skin. Well, I mean, the, you know, look at me. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm flawless. <laughs> like, look at me. So hey, I feel like you said say the first thing that comes to your Wait, mind. Like that's what? my friend, and I feel like I need to call him because I be seeing. And I'll be like, what is he talking about? I feel like we're close enough to where he'll make me under, like I understand. Like, you I think, think he's bisexual? No, I don't. I think he just be playing with people. Like, why are you? Playing oh, like with when people? he does he those tweets. That? Yeah. When he, when he tweets and he, yeah, well, he's I, clearly trolling. Yeah, but stop. I mean, he's, because he got me out here in these streets arguing with people. Yeah. Like in his defense, I'm like, yo, that that's your man's. I'm like, yeah, it is. Yeah. But now I'm confused. Like, who are you trolling? The world? I don't know. Like. But this is what I always say when I think about the spectrum of sexuality. I always say, what would my brothers do, right? Like My brothers would not be playing on the internet or in any space or any joke. 
I say like the guys are wilding because out. They brother, don't play that. Your brothers fall under the don't play with real. Joe's a Joe's a little bit different. Joe's he's he's more. Wait, he just called the cocktails with queens all types of. I think old and or something when he okay. went at Vivica Fox went after her neck. Okay. So I don't. know. Okay. Men don't do that either, do they? What? Hey, no call. That's a stupid. B like what? Uh -huh. I had somebody send me a long message talking about all oh, not all chauvinists are male. Like they feel like they I'm always on. Show. Yeah, I'm always on the men's side. Like I just don't care. Like I don't care. Like calling me does not bother me. Like we're like keep calm. So what? Relax. Like but what? What is it about Joe? Because even though I crack jokes or I, he's talked, he subbed me or I talk about him, or whatever. I actually like Joe. I, I find him. I do. I find I, him I entertaining. He's he's he he has a reckless mouth. What is but it about him where you like him but then you don't but like him? No, I love Joe. He's very, he's way smarter than people think. Mm -hmm. The way he thinks out of the box, like when we would be sitting down, a lot of times we would have the same opinion on him. And um, he tells me all the time, he's like, yo, he's like, like you, like he wouldn't, he's like, Rem, Rem's like, and I'm cool with that. It's fine. It, it doesn't really matter. I was going to call him the other day, but he told me to lose his number and I forgot I deleted it for real. But if you do talk to him, tell him I say, hey. Oh no, you're not involved with me in that. <laughs> No, no, that that's what you talk to. So I said, "Hey, wait." Gonna be the, like, uh -uh. So what's like something name drop? What would you say was? Oh, his sexuality. Oh, okay. When you find out, can you let me know so I can tell people. Tell people what? Like, what is, is sexuality? He's available what he or says? Not? Huh? Not that he's what they what? Like what? Tell people that's what sexuality. If he tells you something, there's T. That's my friend. I would not tell nobody. I just know. Like, and then when, like, if it is what it is, I just stop arguing with people. I literally be out here arguing with But this is how you can do it. You can call me and just be like, talk to my good sis. But I don't have no more drink left, okay. so. All right, cool. This next, anyway, no shade, Joe. Just all jokes. I like Joe. I really do like Joe. I don't, he think I don't like him, but he don't like do? drinking some man. Yeah. All right. I don't think he like you. Huh? He don't like you. He don't like me, huh? I don't think so. Well, I don't like you either. Yeah. All right, cool. This next person, um, this is for Remy. Glorilla. Um, I love, I love what she represents. Mm -hmm. Like I when I first heard, I was like, yes, somebody with a voice deeper than mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love That's it. The title. But um I, I just like how she just always like just she's enjoying the moment. Mm -hmm. It, it seems like she's, she's enjoying happy to the beat moment. Her. Yeah, you, you can see her. that, like you know, she she appreciates it. A lot of times, people they get it and it comes like pretty quick and instantly. It's just like you see the arrogance. Yeah, you see, yeah, like yeah. I don't, I don't get that from her. beneath me. Yeah, and 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 I and I and I love that for her. She's also, um, I think, a different style of rapper than what's out right now with a lot of the girls, right? Yeah, it's it's mixed in, but it's a little bit more. It's a little bit. It's a little rougher. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, a little rougher. Bit. Yeah. Content still kind of that was more yeah. project baby is rougher. <laughs> so I just met this next person. This is for you too. I just met her in Dubai. Eve. You just met her for the first time ever? Ever. She's you. nice, right? Nice as hell. She's really sweet. Yeah. She's she seems sweet. happy too and she seems just like removed from everything. I mean. She got that rich white boy. I was about to say, when you <laughs> married to the, the super bag. Hi. <laughs> Oh my God! She, she was in nice Dubai. She was in Dubai for the gumball something with the, the cars. Gumball, yeah, is it gumball or gumball? Uh, gumball. gumball. Yeah, I think it's gumball three thousand. Gum, gumball three thousand. Yeah. But or, do you know her? Um, I've met her several times. Yeah, she's super nice. Always really, really, really sweet. Always respectful. Unproblematic. Um, I was so mad because when I um ended up filming and got the role on Queens, she was out because she was pregnant. Mm. So I thought mm. I was like, oh, that's gonna be so dope. But um, yeah, she's cool. She's a dope rapper too. Okay, both of you on this show, The Breakfast Club. What do you think about <laughs> The Breakfast Club? Now that it's the show as we know it's come, it's changing. To what? Well, Angela's gone. She got her own show now. But what did the show change to? Meaning the cha the, the host are looking for two more hosts. Would you co-host? I mean, would you become a permanent co-host? I gotta person? wake up. I, I don't know if I could wake up five that early and be stationed in New York every day, every day, every day. If the bag was right, you would get up. It would have to be super correct. <laughs> really? Really? The f that that means I can't go nowhere. I have to be in New York at five a.m. five days, five a, days week. a week. Mm, Five a.m. to what? I don't think they film every episode though. If you get a, a Comrex box, you can do it from your house, and then when you got interviews, no, come a in. lot of times they be there. Uh -huh. 
I mean, but like I said, if, if like you said, if the money was correct, I think it, it would be something that, if the bag is correct, anything is possible. All right, I want to ask about the next person, Travis Scott. I need to know why them sneakers be so much and you can't find them in my size. I don't like that. He just came out with yo, some black I, ones. Yo, real like story. Them. I'm upset about it. Real story. Like, I, I went, feel like he said my name in his song. Like, I should be able to get the sneakers. <laughs> like, this is a kid seven. Like, I'm maybe a six and a half on a good day. Like, real story. I went to was one of his shoe launch parties and they were giving away the free shoes and I just didn't go get it because I didn't, I'm not a big, like, sneaker person. Yeah, but they were going crazy for the shoe and they were, they were in boxes that was designed as the shoe. I was like, well, whatever. And then later on, when it grew on me, I went to they buy them. Like, it'd be like people like this. They don't care about sneaking and nothing. Yeah, cool. that no, they were like, just handing them out. That's why it kind of like, looked like it was. You don't even care. You don't even. You didn't even know why you was there. Like really, and didn't want to be there. But I was there. I went to go see what Kardashian was there and who they was with. And, <laughs> you know that kind of shit. Yeah, that's why I go out. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Oh, like man. I thought I, I, I was gonna flip this. I ain't gonna lie. Wait, I love going out. This is why I love no, going no. out now. Because when I go out, the energy changes when I walk in the room. Like so, I, was so I, say, I just do go you out feel to feel like people, people like are they see you and they automatically try to be in their best behavior or feel like you know they have to watch what they do when you're around because it might end up on your. Um. I don't know because sometimes I be so lit I don't even be knowing what they doing or whatever. I just you be. be no. Don't try no, to pull. I like, will say I like, was lit last night, but you was focused as a mother. Wait, you know what I took? Yo, wait. they was making his drinks. I promise you, they was filling shit up to here with, and going like this with the juice, like a little dash. Yo. We got to the thing. I'm like, this. I said, yo, I'm going to my hotel. Let me know tomorrow mm -hmm. what time we we got a family, whatever. He's like, hold on, I'll give you the number. Hold on, twelve o'clock. This start, and this is the address I set. This he be acting like he he no, don't really be. But going. you know what's so funny? When I got to the party. Black China FaceTimes me and she says, I know you're probably stressed out because people get stressed. She gave me some real I mean, She was checking on me. And I was like, oh, thanks, China. I'm coming. I'm getting my makeup done. So she came. Did you, know, did you hear what I said when I got on the mic? Uh -uh. I said, I even got Black China out the building. And you know, she brought the Kardashians to court. What was that even <laughs> necessary for? Why you did why, that? Why did I even do that? That's crazy. I didn't even know I did that till I woke up and they were like, you do remember she like you. Like, why you say that? Because she drugged them all. I mean, That's the only thing to drag every single Kardashian out the house is. <laughs> okay. But Black China did that. All right. Y'all laughing. Y'all all think. I would not come see, to no more yet. No, like I'm not listen, coming. Yeah, like, motivational why speak, like, why motivational you did speech, that? and you like, just yell it out on the mic. I gotta thank her for coming. I gotta call her. Just it sent us, nice. sent us send some flowers. Yeah. Okay. No, uh, no, not flowers. That's like not some. Not flowers, flowers are thoughtful because I send real good flowers. Like you I don't. Do. I don't you send me really, really mm, nice. Flowers. I don't send you know that shit they get on the side. <laughs> he you know, really like nice most men do. They driving down the freeway and it's just a lady there with some flowers in a bucket. Me, you know. Yeah, you sound fly. You can sound fly. I sing a part. Okay, this next game is called Tear Tweet. Now, this is reckless. I ain't gonna lie. This, this game is reckless. All right, make it snappy. Okay, happy. Tear Tweet. You're gonna have a chance to comment uh, on a topic of my choosing. You can either spill the tea or you have to tweet something that I tell you and you can't tell anybody that I told you to tweet it. Okay. Until you see the show. Okay. Wait, so, right now? Yeah, right now. Okay. Okay, cool. So, Remy the T, uh, who's the most overrated artist right now? Overrated right now? Uh, who I think is overrated? I don't know who's an artist right now. Like, what the f I'm drawing a blank. Who's overrated? Who do you think might be overrated? I'm trying to think of this old man. Broadway, nope. Dirt, nope. Baby, nope. No, I think all of uh, them is cool. That's what I'm, I'm just trying to go down the rappers and. Who's overrated? Because I feel like a lot of people put in work. Who's overrated? I'd be like, uh, why the? I don't know. Give me some suggestions. Name some people. No, because then it's my tea. I think a lot of people are overrated. I'm sick of TikTok rappers. Like, if you're, if you, I just don't want to hear another TikTok rap because I can't TikTok and I don't dance and I'm not, I'm sick of it. Like, I can't even enjoy it because every time I turn. Okay, up, I don't, I don't have an exact person, but I do feel like a lot of the, the drill music is like overrated. I don't know what. Like, but that's all everybody listens to. But I don't to. even know who's a drill artist. Like, there's, there's, it's a, it's not an artist thing. It's like okay. a sound that, like, I feel like that whole drum is like super overrated. I just like the Chicago people that do it. Like the 
So you, you, you don't like none of the like Bronx drill rappers and performance and shit like oh, that. Oh, they do drill up? Yeah. I ain't not consider that drill like, up. Yeah, they do. It's like, I feel like that is like right now. Who do drill up? It's, it's so many of them. And they all like got murder beef. Like literally one side of them killing you beef. Like, But who's a drill rap? I don't know like a drill rapper. This, so, like, this is why I feel like it's she overrated. She keeps a little dirt now. Like that's okay, true. You know what okay. I'm saying? But they, but have, thought- they have a new wave of them. I feel like that's overrated. Okay. And people are literally out here. Killing, they're killing like these these artists. They're 14, 15, 16, they're mm. killing each other, mm. and I feel like it's because of the way people are acting. Like it's this whole big thing, but I don't really think any of them is getting the money that they should mm-hmm. off of their YouTube views and off of their music, and it's it's overrated. And they are dying over it. Mm. Okay, um, Hitman, this is yours. Um, what's what female celebrity that's in a relationship right now would you record a sex tape with if you can get away with it? Excluding Remy, we're not even. That would had nothing to do. It, but I wasn't. It, it was. You don't even like me like that. I ain't worried about. Um, I'm, try, I'm trying to make it a little spicy, but that stuff kind of. Like, but who who would you who you like? You know who I always like. I mean, just like who I just thought always was like pretty and uh, Drea. Who? Drea. Drea. F- Michelle. Okay. I'm just I just like her body type. I ain't gonna disrespect me. I say all this stuff, but I know. But I like Drea body type. Is she in a relationship? I don't know. I just try to do the safest name I can say. She, she might. That's be. a safe name. <laughs> um, yeah, as far as I'm just saying, if I take Beyonce, then everybody to rap. Oh, ho, if I say right, <laughs> but, that, but that's that, that's the T or tweet. <laughs> now, I'm telling you right now, please don't tweet. Please I'm not for the tw- I ain't Okay, Drea and Michelle. Drea and Michelle. Okay. Well, Drea, if you're in a relationship, um, damn, Drea and Michelle. I didn't see Well, if you're not, he he with it. Right. Right. It got really awkward right now. I didn't see that name coming. Shout out to him. He wanted me to say like some. So they ain't gonna get you. You know what I'm saying? Like they ain't gonna gather get you. my thoughts. You know. Guys, because I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to be a better person. All right. Cool. Well, listen. Um, we have gifts. We we do have gifts. We, 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 we. Are they edible? Okay, here. This is your, where's Hitman's? I like edible gifts. Oh. Okay. Well, look. Um, no, only, you go to a baby shop and they give you that. I don't wait. want your trinket. Give me. Some and only and home. only because uh, I, I I didn't give you. Oh, I know what this is. Because I know you're not gonna. I got you some eggs. You don't drink. Huh? Yeah, but he has a bar at home. That's a really good okay. Appreciate. It. I appreciate that for sure. Uh, uh, I like it. Yeah, it's a shade. It says shade, the shade throwers, throwers on the back because you throw all the shade. Gag Nation, <laughs> I love it. You know I'm gonna wear it, right? I know, I know. Okay, so look, really quick, last shot. I'm not you. supposed to wear it. Yeah, you can wear. it. I want oh, you to wear it. Okay. But I know you're gonna make Appreciate it fashionable it. with heels. Oh, I'm gonna make it fire. And a bonnet. And a bonnet. Okay. And a match. Thank you, Jason. You plotted that. All right, so I know you acting, and you talked about Queens. What else are you acting in now? Because last time I called you, you were on your way to Atlanta. Yes, um, I was in Atlanta. I was actually shooting a, a Lifetime movie with um, Tammy Roman. Crazy as hell. Like, Lifetime, they really be finding these based on true stories that, like, it was so crazy that I was. I started doing research on my character. Like, hold on, like, what, what's going on here? And it's um, called Girl in the Closet. Girl in the Closet. So it's like R. Well, Kelly's sister. as of sister. right now, no, no, it's not R. Kelly's sister. Because, you know, sometimes they change the name. But, um, yes, I was. I do a lot of acting. I, I didn't realize until, like, I started, like, I never even posted. You know, everybody do they, what I did this year, real. <laughs> and I was like, I really did mash it. But I love it. I love acting because you get to like be somebody else. Mm-hmm. Like they do your hair different, your clothes different. Like the first, I think the first movie I did, I had to get used to it because it was just so different for me. I was like, I would never wear my hair like this. I would never wear this outfit. And then I had to like, so I was like, this is not me. I'm not Remy. So I'm this character. Mm-hmm. And then I was nervous at first because people were like, I've never acted before. And then I was like, wait, I act every day. Mm-hmm. I be acting like I like people. Mm-hmm. I be like, hi, nice to meet you. No, I don't want to meet you. No, I don't I'm go. Lit. Your hand was sweaty, your breath was thinking, like, and I'd be acting like mm-hmm. everything's yeah, cool. So you don't say that, though. No, but I act like it's okay. I oh, would God. like, I act like it's cool. Okay. They would never know that I hated their guts. Mm-hmm. And that's the goal. And and that's the goal. <laughs> like, so I feel um, for people, I know you want to, I tell you, do it. Like, you want to get to acting. I like, text 50 that I want to be on BMF. He just does not respond. I think he thinks I'm a joke. 
I think. But but I it is funny too because like what am I gonna do? Like what am I gonna do on BML? I, I I don't know. I like the show. I don't know. I kind of I like when I look at some of the shows now, like Power and all that. You know. You feel like you could fit in there somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. Maybe like the 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 street. I can, I can. I can. Listen, if you couple couple shots of this, you 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 got it. What? <laughs> what? You, you, it's good. Yeah, because these are multi-purpose instruments. What? No. Anyway, look. Thanks for coming on the show. We're gonna download the network. You're in reality TV, killing it. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Go download the network. Download and support the show. Coastal rain. Listen, everybody who's black, I want us all to win. I love the yes. fact that we create our own lanes. We ain't waiting for people to handle it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hand us, hand it to us, and. We You're got, just I got a battle coming Thank out. You. Yes. I got a battle February 25th. February 25th. On Remy card. Come, you should Remy come. Only. Are they safe? Yes, they're safe. Like really? we talking about. Be safe. You should come. It's February 25th. It's in New York City. It's at Sony Hall. So the nice little yeah. area. I will get you your own section. Okay. We, we if have, I'm invited, I'll come. You're always invited. To I need to bring I'm a doing. couple pluses though. So I'm, you, you, know. you, you and your six pluses that look like models. Nah, so not come. to a battle rap. They're not gonna look like models. <laughs> Well, they, they gonna look they like gonna they look gonna look like, like gangsters. They yes. blend in. You do not need that. You are fine, and you gonna be in what? New York. You and me, you good. I'm gonna be in New York. I'm gonna be good in New York. I can't Who even tell you. For you. <laughs> they outside. What? I always feel like when I get, not when I get. If I was to get caught slipping, it would be in New York. You're gonna be in New Cause York. you want to be outside and you just walking around and there's people moving around. And nah, I see pics eleven. I see how y'all be moving not in the streets. Pics eleven. Yeah. Um, Done. Yeah. Okay, so come. February 25th. February 25th, come. It's called the anniversary card. And it's girls too, so it's guys and it's girls. All right, I'm going to pull up. Thank you for both coming. Come on, Thank you. Appreciate you having me. All right, peace. <laughs>